Welcome to Weekly Affirmations, the positive feel-good show about indie and freeform games. This is our penultimate end of the season finale episode, and we are so, so delighted to be here. Lord QQ, can you give us our theme song, please? Oh, I said a weekly yeah. affirmations, a positive feel-good show. The most positive thing on this channel called Hyper Rabbit Power Go. It's pretty decent. So oh, princesses! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's wonderful to see all of your familiar faces in chat, including one or two new folks. We're happy to have you, and we are happy to be here on this Thursday evening. I am Strix, your host of Weekly Affirmations, game designer extraordinaire, and total silly person who has no self-respect as we're finding out today. <laughs> uh, joining me today are Lizzie, Aya, and Emily. Uh, you have all seen their friendly faces before here on the show, and I thought it would be awesome to invite them back for this last episode. And we just had a resub from Ex Machina. Yeah, yeah. So today we're playing a very special game and another resub! Ah! Original Senpai! Nine months, that's super awesome. So. I don't know if you heard, but we're playing an extra special princess game. <laughs> and it's called Tales of the Crystals, and it was designed by the woman who created Jim and the Holograms. Amazing. <laughs> uh, amazing. So this is a LARP in a box that was released in 1993. Um, as far as game design goes, that is an amazing and remarkable anomaly because LARPs in 1993 were all for vampire players who were adults and no one was thinking of little girls. So to have a LARP in a box um, for younger women is amazing. And not just women, but anyone who wants to play awesome <laughs> games. Money. Yay for weekly affirmations. I would like an affirmation for Strix for the absolutely amazing job she's done introducing us to so many amazing games. Hope you all have a wonderful time over the holidays. Aw, thank you, Aridin. So if you are new to Weekly Affirmations or you don't know what's going on, we have this wonderful thing called the Affirmation Matrix where you can subscribe or donate at least $5 and you get an affirmation for yourself or dedicated to someone else. They're super fun and awesome. And if you donate at least $25, you can add your own card to the deck, my discretion willing. Uh, and so we get our first one of the day. Guys, I really want the anteater. Can we please make the anteater happen today? Oh yes. Oh yes, so close. So this is from Aridin and it's actually for me. So I'll just read it out loud to myself. Uh, I am a salty, squishy antelope. <laughs> oh my God, it sparkles. <laughs> Salty, you're salty. Salty, squishy antelope. So that'd be like. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm falling. <laughs> Don't fall off your chair, please. Skirt is very slippery. <laughs> no, that's interesting. Slippery skirts. Uh, so, Tales of the Crystals. Uh, some people actually played this game when they were little. This is actually Lizzie's box set. It's in perfect, immaculate, amazing condition. We just got so lucky. <laughs> and maybe you can tell us a little bit how you played when you were a little girl. So um, in 1993, I was like 11 and I have a sister who's three years younger than I am. Money. Bubbly Strix versus Goth Aya battle <laughs> to the death less than three. Uh, hello, Strix oh, Consort. Oh, hi, Strix Consort. I wonder who that could be. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, what am I thinking? Strix Consort. I think we all know who you are at this point. You are a Money. Hashtag weekly affirmations for Lizzie and her boldlings. Community less than three. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. So, Strix Consort. You are a lucky, enchanting kraken. <laughs> Which sounds something like <laughs> I have heard him made almost that exact noise. Exactly. It's, it's true, nice. true stuff. <laughs> All right. And then I, I promise I'll let you explain, but first you get an affirmation. Uh-huh. Which is super awesome. Mm, thank you. 
Oh, yes. have to make this noise. Please be the antelope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Lizzie. You. Money. Uh, everyone looks so fancy. Can we get our weekly Emily yes. affirmation? Keeping the streak alive. Hashtag Neonet hashtag hash browns. Thanks to Nova. Thanks to Nova. You're super awesome. Okay, let's try this again. So you are radical, accepting echidna. 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 Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, echidna, radical and yet accepting. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm accepting. accepting. Wonderful. Very accepting. That's lovely. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> also, gosh, I love every time I come on this show. It's so great. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> and Gatha, you're going down. I'm just saying, I am the best princess. You are the fluffiest. <gasps> Glitteriest princess, and you can Thank keep that. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 all right, Emily. Here's your affirmation from Genova. We are all crossing our fingers for Ant Eater here. We Genova. really are. Okay, Emily, you are a brave, yearning red panda. Oh, that's awesome. That's, so cute. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, thank you. That's thank darling. You. Love thank you. you. That's darling. Thank you. Uh, so, guys, it's been. Money. Loved this game when I was little. Oh. So excited. Can wow. I get an affirmation, please? Absolutely, one week cover. That's super cool. I didn't even know about this till like three months ago. And I was so excited when you mentioned it. <laughs> it's too much excitement. To oh, this is so much excitement. One leaf clover, <sighs> you are a rambunctious, speculating fox. Hmm. Aya, what does a rambunctious, speculating fox sound like? <sighs> <laughs> There's that song. What, what does the rambunctious, speculating fox say? I don't do rambunctious. <laughs> I, I, Calm down. Oh man. This is too much. So good though. <laughs> so Lizzie, you were saying about your childhood and how awesome this was. Yeah, so uh, I was I was maybe roughly eleven uh, when we got this game and I have a sister who's about three years younger than I am. So we uh, were played really fast and loose with the already pretty fast and loose rules. Um, and really used it as kind of a tool set for sparking the imagination and just uh, imagination play around and getting to dress up ridiculously. And um, yeah, it, it a lot of fun, really fond times, which is why I had it here in my hope chest, like just waiting for being able to share it with my kids someday. So I'm really excited to get to play it with y'all. Really excited. This is so great. It's really interesting. Money. Weekly affirmations is the most positive thing on this channel, then hashtag Gaia. Maybe an affirmation will reduce the condesculting attitude, hashtag Shaiwazi. Money. I think that Aya deserves an affirmation for how well she is staying in character through all this, plus another chance at Anteater. Yeah. You guys are on it. hear me make wow. all these weird noises. It's perfect. And I think it's weird. They just want to affirm weird. you. Yeah. Affirmations. We just want to bring itchy. some whimsy. I don't like that. <laughs> 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 with the picture. No whimsy. <laughs> whimsy. <laughs> all this, this giggling is just, needs, just needs to Rick's stop. Scott's are learned. Just needs to oh, stop. Learned. Oh my god. I did learn. All right, I, you're up twice in a row. <laughs> Money. Can we give Lady Kikyu the clipping mistress an affirmation? Yeah. She deserves some love for all her time making hyper RPG as it is now. Absolutely true. All right, Aya, you what? are a clever, damn right, appreciating mm. koala. <laughs> <sighs> it glitters, it hurts. Let's hear it. <sighs> 
Oh, whatever. This is such a front. Your dad is the forest king, okay? Oh my god, don't talk about my dad! Oh. Ew! Oh. That's what koalas sound like. <laughs> Until they eat the eucalyptus and fall off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think we talked about this last time when there was a wait hold on. I think we talked about this last time when there was a Money. For all the hashtag weekly informations crew, hosts, mods, lurkers, fans, and stricks throughout this past year that have made season one so amazing hashtag game feels. Money. Helping the dream with getting an eater. I think Strix is the best, no one can beat her. Oh. With off the trails ending, I'm feeling down. But now is weekly affirmations with the best ladies in town. Hashtag oh, Thumper Pride. Money. For sharing the love, I think Lizzie needs an affirmation. <laughs> Hashtag esports for the bull brigade. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Money. Make Goth Eye a smile. <laughs> it's too awesome. creepy when she doesn't smile. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna break her yet. We're gonna break her with whimsy. All right, I, I, uh, <laughs> okay, I was broken a long time ago. This next one is also for you. Enjoy. And I think you'll appreciate it. Because it runs in the family. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to feel affirmed and positive and awesome? Because I can totally oh wash away your darkness oh with my positivity oh and sugar. Oh god, oh god, you need to stop that right now. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Aya, you are a powerful, cunning elf. Powerful, cunning, dark elf. Ow. <laughs> I'll accept that. Okay, the next one is for Lady Kakiyu, who is an amazing community member who does all the clipping. And she even did affirmations while I was out one week, which was super cool to keep those affirmations alive. So hopefully we can keep this tradition going, whether Weekly Affirmations is airing or not, where we are affirming each other as a community, being awesome to each other, and remembering the good things. So this one is especially for you. Oh, Lady Kakiyu, you are a speedy looking putty tat. Puppy cat. Puppy cat. It looks like putty cat. <laughs> what is a puppy cat? This oh, is strong to uh, Can I do this? No, 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 it's my fault. Oh, okay, all right. What, <laughs> what is a puppy sound? cat? A, a puppy cat is a cartoon character that maybe it's a puppy and maybe it's a cat. You're not really you sure. You just don't anyway, know. Anyway, speedy, a speedy looking puppy cat mm -hmm. would sound like. That's wonderful about cats. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredibly accurate. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea. I'm out of the loop on this one. You should know what a puppy cat is. You should. You should. The last cat dog show I watched was Cat Dog. Yeah, that was not cute. Puppy cat, cat is adorable. Is far okay. more cute. All right, that was a terrible show. Super so this one is for. Oh yeah. Did not like. So this is for everyone here at the studio, the hosts, the crew, the management. Everyone is part of a community, you thumpers, who are super awesome. So this is for all of us. We're all gonna make the noise together. Heck yeah. And we are sweet, beaming Ewoks. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Money. For a great show, an affirmation for Strix and guests of past, present, and future. Thank Aww, you. Thanks, AJ. That Acc was from AJ. Accidentally, and that is an accurate translation of puppy cat. True. It's true. Mm. Hello, peon, bow to me. Uh, bow to me and I will grant you immortality in place of the, the darkness. Yeah, I'm Ooh. very fierce. I need to find a puppy cat. <laughs> uh, jelly filled hey, donut, you're no fun. You could just do it under your breath. No one's gonna know that you're making Ewok noises under your breath. <laughs> just saying. You should do it. Just Mentally. Say. Do it. Do it. All right, this next one is for Prosperous Guard, who always brings the mad rhymes. So, Prosperous Guard, you are a warm, encouraging Moogle. Oh. <sighs> and we all know the sound that Moogles actually make, and that's boring. So, Emily, what sound would you make as a Moogle? Oh, <laughs> That's yes, wonderful. The dark that's that's wonderful. wonderful. That's good. That was beautiful. Okay, the next one is for Emily from Volpe, I believe. Yeah, I totally missed that one. I didn't this time. Oh, this thank you. That's so sweet. 
Money. Can we affirm Princess Disdain? <laughs> Princess Apathy. Sorry, I am unsure of Aya's royal title. They have scented blood. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought of like an emo princess name before I got here. <laughs> All right, so I like Princess Apathy. Prin I'm gonna yeah. that. Princess Apathy. Um, it's such a long word. It's so hard to say. Princess. Oh God, ew. What was it? Ew. Raven. Uh, eh, em oh, God. From, from my immortal. Oh God. Oh. If anyone can remember the main yes. character's name in that my immortal fic, put it in chat. Please do. That's you know her what name. we're talking about. <laughs> you know what we're talking about. She dates about. Malfoy. They love my chemical romance. You know what we're talking about. Harry Potter becomes something else. Ron just I think becomes demon. Raven, something Blackbird, like McKnight. That. No, that's not it. It's very specific. We'll know. We'll know yeah. when we see it. All right. The next one is for you, Lizzie. Are you ready for this? I am. So you are a cooperative, daring pixie. <gasps> uh, cooperative, daring pixie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's all fight it together! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. There's nothing Ebony wrong. Ebony Dementia Raven yes, Way! Yes, that is it. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ebony Dementia Raven Way. <laughs> Except for when she was mad at her friend Raven and then it was something else. <laughs> If you've never read My Immortal, do yourself a favor and read it. Oh, it's My Immortal? Oh, man, sorry. I did not click at first, and now it just clicked, and I'm like, oh, it that's is the diving best deep into the fiction. internet. <laughs> wow. Weekly affirmations will continue on no matter when. As for my affirmation, I give it on to my hashtag clip steam for all this year's hard work. Hashtag ass technology. That's an affirmation for Ice Talk as he is new to weekly affirmations, so I figured this would help introduce him to it. D. <laughs> awesome. What was, where is that at? What was his name? Ice Caucus? Ice Hulk. Ice, Ice Hulk. Hulk. Oh, Ice Hulk. I heard that totally wrong. <laughs> All right, Aya, you're, uh, <coughs> you're just continuing to feel affirmed. We're going to melt your Ice Princess heart. No, just like, like every Ice movie Princess ever. Heart. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, uh, you are a bodacious, everlasting quaggin. Don't you glitter at me. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what a quaggin is? No. I do not know what a quaggin so is. So a quaggin is from Guild Wars 2, and they're basically, if you took a manatee and made it tiny and walk on two legs and really cute. <gasps> I do know what a quaggin is. That's a quaggin. I don't know what that is, but I love it. <laughs> Again, all this excitement just really needs to tone down. And I don't know what kind of noise Cloggins make, but we'll go with... <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> We're working on it. <sighs> Ew. Yes. Okay, this next one is from AJ, and it's for me and all of my guests, past, present, and future, which I love. <laughs> oh, yes? <laughs> I can feel it. We're getting close to the anteater. I really hope it's in there. All right, we are all Money. You all are just so darn affirmative. Aww. Here's for an affirmation from Strix to our high school English class. All right. Oh my gosh, Aegis Kid. Who is Aegis Kid? Oh, is it John? I think it's John. I found you out. John John? So, no, no, no. Um, when I was in high school, I was in a special class for gifted kids who wrote stuff. Uh, and it was a two-year program, and we were all very tight, and then most of us went on to be awesome things, like Wait, lawyers so it, like, friends? and doctors. <laughs> Co-writers. Okay. okay. I didn't become a lawyer or a doctor, but tech startup, that's okay. Um, but we were all, yeah, aha, it is you, John, I knew it. Um, but we were called Aegis, which stands for something long that I can't remember about being gifted, and maybe there was a Greek reference. I don't know, John probably knows. <laughs> Um, but it was cool. We wrote plays together. Um, John and I, I think, actually wrote a play together called Ambivalence, which was I about a that. high school girl who couldn't decide if she had tried to kill herself or not, but she was in a psych ward. High school. High school. Yeah. High school. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, John. Do you like that? Ebony Dementia Ravenway? Excuse Ebony me, I'm Dementia. Princess Apathy. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Princess Apathy. Okay. All right. Self-determination is important. Don't be giving me those weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So Strix and Guess, we are radioactive, monologuing Jawas. 
<sighs> so what that'd be like? Oh, I, I want to see the radioactive portion of this. That's the part I'm interested in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we can keep doing this. No <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I love affirmations. They're so great. Guess what, Aya? The next one's for you! Doesn't you stop with a nice thing and Don't affirming with the people? Nice thing. We can it's, just affirm her all day. Being nice. Being nice to you is just an uncommon thing. We don't thing. do nice where I come okay. from. Okay, most of okay. us are allergic to that. It's, just, mm, it's too much. Alright, are you ready, Princess Apathy? No. Are you ready? Because this yes. one's sure to melt your icy heart. Oh. Because you are a faithful, entertaining hmm. kitsune. I'm pretty entertaining, aren't I? Why oh, is kind of succeeding? I should know what that is. It's a magical fox creature. Hmm. <laughs> She's getting into it. We're, we're thawing her slowly. Wonderful, wonderful. Lovely. Okay, this next one is for the clip team from Lady Kakiyu. You folks know who you are. So do what you do best. Clip this and send it to each other. Because you... This is perfect. Our exuberant, conquering chipmunks. <sighs> and that would be like, ah, I'm from Spain! <laughs> and I have conquered you! <laughs> Conquistadors! <laughs> I would like to affirm my all time favorite 40 foot monster, I am. Yes. Hashtag as technology. She I don't know who that is, monster. and you cannot True. prove that that happened. Okay. <laughs> really miss We're not gonna talk about it. The internet has clips. Oh, I forgot about the internet has the internet clips. The internet is forever. <laughs> Thank you, Final happening. Fantasy Nine Master. <laughs> Exuberant conquering chipmunks. That was a pretty good one. Okay, the next one is for Ice Hulk. I don't know. I don't know how I heard Ice Caucus because that's not even the same <laughs> amount of syllables. Nope. So, <laughs> the caucus of ice. The caucus of ice. Ice Hulk. So, Ice Hulk, welcome, and you are a nice juggling siren. <sighs> so you're like, la, I'm so fancy, look at me juggle, ah. And then they all drown. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Positive. You said it, not me. <laughs> and you're smiling about it, so what does that say about her? <laughs> uh, I'm a very complex individual as you will come to find out. I just think you're hiding things and you're trying to be all glittery. Aren't we all hiding things? I mean, oh, thanks for them bits. Some of us more than others. <laughs> Money. What's the opposite of affirming? I think Aya would prefer that. Hashtag shy What? Thank you. We only do affirmations here, Berserk Chimera. So that means it's not gonna happen. It Don't means worry. I'm gonna give an affirmation. You can take it however you want. All right, so this one is for Aegis Kid, who I knew in high school. Actually, if you guys really want to know more about me, you should talk to Aegis Kid because he actually knew me when I was like 16, 17. I was a totally different person as he Money. We have to affirm our yes. fantastic QQ hashtag Neonite hashtag hash browns. Excellent. Hash browns. Definitely an affirmation for Lord. Chum Chum Jim, you be quiet. What's Chum Chum Jim say? Oh man. That's yeah, so Aya's new show is cool. weekly Commitment verbal assault. Commitment is really assaults. astounding. I'd like that. <laughs> also, it's not it Aya. Anyway. It's Princess Apathy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. So you just kid slash so John, you are a scruffy, bargaining genie. <gasps> Emily. Yes. What does a scruffy, bargaining genie sound like? Wow, that is a wonderful <laughs> question. <laughs> It's <laughs> beautiful. Confusion, please. It brings warmth to my heart. <laughs> At some point, we will start playing our game. In case you're just tuning in, this is Weekly Affirmations, the show about indie and freeform games. I'm your host, Strix. This is Lizzie, Aya, and Emily. And today is the, the final episode of season one. And we're playing a very special game, The Tales of the Crystals designed by the woman who invented Gem and the Holograms. It's super awesome, and we're all princesses, goddammit, Whimsy. 
There. Accept your apology, Kaltoria. <laughs> <laughs> Don't right, happen I, again, though. You're up next because we just love it's affirming princess you. Princess Apathy. Okay, Apathy, Go ahead. away. <laughs> <laughs> you are a witty, damn right, amusing oh, God. kangaroo. I am not <laughs> a kangaroo. Okay. <laughs> Do you see me hopping around? Her. Do you see a pouch? I'm not a kangaroo. Well, hop to it. You can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> she is wearing the ice crystal. I'm the leader. She's the leader. <laughs> I, I'm the leader with the ice crystal. What I say goes. You have to make the kangaroo sound. Actually, like, would, do kangaroos actually make a sound? I'm just going to go out of character for one second because kangaroos are really exciting. <laughs> They've got to make a sound, right? Isn't it like a little, like, a purry, high pitchy? Yeah, we'll say that. There we go. That's Aw, oh, right. see, that's like adorable. That. Yeah. You can be a weekly, weekly verbal yeah, assault. Yeah, but it makes me kind of <laughs> nauseous. I don't, can I get a Tums? I'm just like happy to have All right, it here. Berserk Chimera wants me to say this like it's not an affirmation and I'll do my best for you, Aya. Oh, that's what that pop-up means. Warrior, isn't there, it? It's a it picture really of the Infect sweater that means that someone bought the Infect oh, sweater. Oh, someone bought the sweater? That's oh, so cool. Way cool. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, Princess Apathy, this is my best disdain, okay? Are you ready? Thank you. Um, <laughs> you are... <laughs> An ancient uh, uh, gliding uh, gnome. I'm pretty ancient. <laughs> Gnomes are kind of quiet, like they just kind of glide along. And they're from Jersey? Something like that. <laughs> no, but they got like a nasally thing going on, you know? Like it comes from the height, I think. I don't know. It's fine. Oh, it sounds very believable to that me. That was a very oh, God, ancient the voice. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I want you to go away. Shouldn't have joined the show. <laughs> I didn't know what all right. Was gonna be. The last one here is for Laura QQ. Laura, do you want to jump out here really quick and get your affirmation? We can all make the noise together. Ice Hulk, you need to stop with the trend of. I was gonna Ooh. run and jump before I got in my way. Oh no! <laughs> all right, QQ, you ready for this? You are a svelte, a biting lion. Mm. I feel like I always ask what svelte is. <laughs> it's like ha ha. Oh, um, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. What was I gonna? It's like cut with good lines. So smelt, biting. <laughs> that is perfect. Hope Are you feel you? affirmed. I, like I think we should hang out after the show. That totally. Okay. Rawr. 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 That's right. This channel is awesome. Sports. All right. So. Uh, you guys can keep doing affirmations throughout the show. We're not going to mute you while you play because it's just funner this way. And it is the last show of the season, so why not? Um, but we are going to get more fun. Oh my god, you are such a downer. I can say whatever I want. Just I do what I saying. want. You do. You just sound weird when you do it. Can't help. <laughs> Grammar jerk. <laughs> just jerk in general. It's fine. <laughs> no need to be specific. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Tales of the Crystals. It's for, so it's for two to four players. I'm sure we could invent new ways to add more players, but we're gonna try to stay true to the rules today. We have all picked our gems, which we'll explain later, but these are our, our princess roles. I am the leader and I have the ice crystal. So I'm the ice queen, literally, uh, <laughs> which is, you know, fine. I can deal with that. Um, what crystal do you have? I am a scribe. And I have the crystal of invisibility that allows me to turn invisible along with anyone that I touch. <gasps> Where did the princess go? Oh, there she is. Right here. Okay. The voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the bits, folks. I have the red one. Protector. Which is the protector, so I have to, like, care and protect people, I guess. Yes, that is correct. I bet you'll be incredibly good at it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, mine is the green crystal, and that means that I'm the healer, and that means that I I take care of everyone around me. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. So, in case you have not seen this before, this is the actual box that Perfect it comes with in. Invisibility. <laughs> it's beautiful and amazing. Uh, and there are beautiful, amazing things for us to play with. So I'm going to set the box aside here very carefully because this is an heirloom. <laughs> there we go. 
So what comes in the box is a whole bunch of really cool things. Oh, oh sports. Thank you so much. So sports, you're gonna get an affirmation for that. Oh boy. Money. Oh, we should affirm Mark. Yes. Yeah. Great job cooking food and pressing buttons, Mark. <laughs> Hashtag we right, own it. So we'll do sports and then we'll do you, Mark. We can hang out. Yeah, All right. That. So sports, you are a calmly equivocating tanuki, which is kind of like you know a raccoon thing dog. And it's comely and equivocating. So it's like, bark, yerp, 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 bark, yerp, yerp, bark, 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 The end. Someone clip that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then Mark, <coughs> one of our hardest workers, amazing behind the scenes person. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> yes. Are you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> you are a gregarious, gregarious. moisturizing Moisture. griffin. Griffin. Oh, it's going to be good. So affirming. I love the hip action. That really mm -hmm. that made it. Thank you, Mark. No problem. And your skin looks fabulous, so I can see that you moisturize. <laughs> okay, so in this game, there are two packs of cards. There is a mirror. There is a heart box, which has jewels in it. There is instructions slash a journal. And there is this envelope of secrets, which we will need an adult for. And when we call for an adult, hopefully Rai Rai will appear. That's what we're counting on. Sometimes we just need an adult. And then we have secret places that we need to map out. You so, need an adult? Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Yeah. But, but you're on it. Okay. So the adult function is working. That's good. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get off our chairs and we're going to stake out our territories. Okay, do 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 transition do 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 <laughs> I got Ice Hulk's name wrong, though. It's true. Ice Hulk's Thank you, Genova. It's correct. Yes. That is correct. <laughs> it did. It did. All right, Ice Hulk. Ooh, you're gonna like this one. Ice Hulk, you are a careful, cajoling ifrit. <sighs> Aww. Oh, we got some bits. Thank you for the bits. What does a careful, cajoling ifrit sound like? A careful cajoling if it sounds like um oh, they're attached. Oh. <laughs> so grab a mech and let's set up our places here. It's mech time. So this is the secret garden held by a core Where's mech. the deployment music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the castle of dread. Let's do the village. I think five. Oh. We're setting up for our LARP. It's super awesome. We're princesses. Just put the foot right on here. Princesses have to set up the thing. Okay, let's do Oriana's win here. Money. I think Rary needs an affirmation for his adulting. Yes, he does. Definitely. Okay, one second, one second. And then we'll do the whispering forest back here. The scribe is on it. And then we'll do the evil castle right here. Okay. Rai Rai, do you get an affirmation guy? <laughs> yeah, oh, I heard you needed an adult again? We do, for affirming. That is me. I'm technically an adult. Oh, I'm this age is perfect. 25. Rai I could Rai. have a child. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, don't say that again. That's really scary. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Now you're talking about Rai Rai, you are a maniacal calling gargoyle. Ooh. Bring, bring, bring. Yes, Mark's on it. What did you call me? <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here if you get, if you need anything. We'll need an adult soon. Okay. okay. We need more gargoyles. We definitely need more gargoyles. QQ, will we have to make sure that we're especially loud when we stand back here? Yes. Especially loud. We can do that because we're princesses. We're princesses. We have to work on what is that? 
when you throw your voice in a big room? Projection! Projection! I can project. <laughs> I love this. Okay. So, there's gonna be secrets and boxes and all kinds of things. Again, we're playing The Tales of the Crystals, a, a LARP for children that came out in 1993. And now I'm gonna read some instructions. And we have our lands next. Sticks. Yeah, set up with our mix. Perfect. I'm gonna need my, my notepad. All right. Uh, um, I just thought I would take down. I'm gonna get down here. Here we go. We're transitioning. There we go. <clears throat> Introduction. Tales of the Crystals is a unique imagination game for up to four players. It features an exciting audio cassette, which we have, to guide you and your friends through four amazing adventures. The game is best played with four players. There are five basic steps that you will do when playing an adventure. They are listening to the audio cassette, completing the challenges, writing down the highlights of the adventure in the journal, and then returning the audio cassette and listening to its next segment. We are going to be using an MP3, but the cassette actually exists. All right, are you ready for the legend? <laughs> yeah. Always ready. Welcome to Tale of the Crystals. Deep in your mind stands the doorway to a mythical, magical place, the land of Collingwood. Your imagination is the key that unlocks that door, the land of Collingwood. In a faraway place exists an enchanted land full of fascinating people and creatures. This magical place is known as Collingwood. Oriana, the beloved oracle of the Whispering Forest, watches over all that happens here. Standing tall at her side, his branches reaching outward, is Old Man Oak, the oldest and wisest of all the trees in the Whispering Forest. Ruling the forest fairies is tiny queen Lenore, with her fluttering wings, Banash, the village elder, speaks on behalf of all of the villagers. When joined with Oriana and Old Man Oak, they make up the Forest Council. The group of the, that protects the well-being of all of Collingwood's inhabitants. Together, they struggle to keep Collingwood free from the evil works of the licked, licked, <laughs> wicked Lady Morphia. Deep within her castle of dread on the edge of the village, she uses her sinister spells and powers to control the swamp goblins, ogres, and giants. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> the Forest Council now needs your help in battling Lady Morphia and her evil horde, for you are the keepers of the crystals. The power of your crystal pendants will keep Collingwood and all who live there safe. Keepers, beware and be ready for anything. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Yes, I said licked by accident. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so step one, set up the five flags. We've done that. Step two, choose your roles. We have done that. And we've put on our crystal pendants. Step four, prepare the other player's pieces. They're over there. Step five, set up your fort. The fort's right here on the floor. Take that, Lady Morphia. And then prepare the audio cassette. That's <clears throat> right, this game has an audio cassette. It does, it's so awesome. Not video. 1993. <laughs> it's a good year. Okay, da, da, da. let me get over here. Okay, preparing the other player pieces. So where's my protector at? Okay, you have a job. The red deck is to be used when playing Adventure 1 or Adventure 3. So that's this deck over here. Wait, none of them are Oh no, don't spill the gems! I'm spilling the gems! So we are doing Adventure 1 today. We don't have time for all four, but someday. I think it's this one. Someday. Yes, it's that one. Okay. Okay, the deck you're going to play with must be hidden somewhere in a safe place in Oriana's Glen, so hide it. Pretend we don't see it. Okay. <laughs> it's done. Okay, good. <clears throat> Place whichever deck you are not, you're going to play um, out of the way. So that's going to be this deck. It can stay over here. Several times during each adventure, the audio cassette will tell us when to pick a card. 
And then I will give the card to the protector to put in the heart box. Got it? So the heart box is yours, protector. It's pink. Yep. You gotta I'm touch it. You gotta touch it. It's pink. I told it. you. Oh, gosh. Okay, it. that's why I wore gloves. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> Everything's fine. Yes, everything is fine. <laughs> okay. Blah, blah, blah. The plastic carp shaped box used by the protector to carry several other pieces. Um, you need to carry the magic crystal powder as well. There you go. Kind of sweaty already. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> And you need the magic mirror. It's have, also pink! You got a lot of jobs. <sighs> God, I'm so glad with gloves. Yay, it's this! Sign that she trusts you can put it in the box if you'd like. Then I have to touch the pink thing and put it in the pink thing. And it's just okay, fine. this part's for you, healer. I'm the healer. The four jewel crystals are used by the <laughs> healer with the wheel of choices to answer questions and make decisions. Okay. These are yours, and they belong with your wheel. I have a wheel. You have a wheel. It's right here. It's a fine wheel. From time to time, the healer will ask a question, roll the jewel crystals onto the center of the wheel of choices, and then answer the question based on where the majority of the jewels land. So you're basically scrying. That's There's pretty a really cool. good that comment that cool. points out that this is magic powder and a magic mirror, and I find that funny. Hush. It's funny. Hush. I mean, I get it, but hush. It's a children's game. Totally a children's <laughs> game. 1993. It was a different time. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I need a parent. Parent. I need an adult. Hey, it worked. Oh, um, <clears throat> yes. I'm Give the secret envelope to a parent. The secret envelope contains the six secrets message cards. No player should open this envelope. A parent or older sibling can be given the envelope to hide the messages throughout the play area. Because you do not know what the cards say, they will prompt you to use your imagination and will enhance your Tales of the Crystals experience. So you hide the messages, but not too hard, because we've got to find them. Oh, While you... we don't look. Okay, so I need to hide them in yep. here. Mm -hmm. Yes! And I get to look at them. Yes. In the play area. But we How do I know that you won't be cheating? You have to trust us. Okay, yes. you guys, I need you up front. <laughs> Space to work with here. Am not I allowed looking. to use tape? No, you are not. Okay. All right. Okay. Put the spider crystal out of play. That's definitely out of play. It is in the box for right now, so you know. You have the spider crystal. You're not allowed to use it. I want to use it. It's not for you. I want it anyway. The maze is not for you. <sighs> Take what I want. <laughs> Steal she has these crossing the streams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then give the journal to the scribe. You've got your journal. Scribe, you are the guardian of the journal. You therefore have to follow these responsibilities. You must carry and protect the journal at all times. You must write down all the highlights of the adventure. So far I have Princess Apathy was very grumpy. Okay, we can start with that. When you have finished reading all the instructions, give the journal to the scribe. Set up the fort, we did that. It's time to play the audio cassette. So the audio cassette is the heart of your Tales of the Crystal experience and features the four exciting adventures, Saving Collingwood, the Tournament of Games, Oriana Disappears, and the Midsummer Forest Festival. We'll be saving Collywood today. Okay, so let's all sit and listen to our audio cassette. Oh my gosh. Have you hidden the, has the adult hidden the uh, cards? <laughs> no. <laughs> you better not hurry. Like I'm hiding one right now though. We're so not don't looking. Worry. Don't worry about that. No one is looking. Okay, let's listen. Please be nice and loud. Welcome to Oriana's Glen. I am We need to hear it. I'm excited to throw gems on this. You're, you're like doing real magic. I know. <laughs> you're an awesome healer. I'm old man Oak, eldest of all the trees in the Whispering Forest. Have you read about Collingwood in your journal? If not, turn off the sound of my voice and read the journal, then return to me. Ah, I see by the light of knowledge shining in your eyes that you have learned what you need to know. Come, sit in the shade of my leaves as we wait for Oriana, the Oracle of the Forest and leader of the Forest Council, to join us. She is wise and lovely and as young as a summer's day. 
Ah, here she comes. How graceful she is, her dress floating like a white cloud around her, the wand of wisdom sparkling in her hand. Oh, wise one, the keepers of the crystals have come to help us in our time of need. I bid you welcome, my dearest friends and brave hearts. I am Oriana. I asked you to meet me here because I've had a terrible premonition that some evil threatens Collingwood. No! Place your hands upon your crystal pendants and see if you too can feel the danger. Oh my! What's this? Who's thumping about in my branches? Out with you! Acorns at me? Don't you know it's only Pip? I, you bit of mischief. I warned you forest sprites about dancing on my head. But, old man Oak, Pip is shaking worse than your leaves in a windstorm. Poor little Pip. Oh. What were you running from? Well, I was heading for the waterfall to have a swim, but I saw an ugly old hag with three big ogres following along behind her. Ogres? I knew I sensed something evil. I hid and watched, and the old hag turned into Lady Morphea. And she opened a little black jar and poured something into the water. Then, with the wave of her hand, she changed her three ogres into big toadstools. And off she ran. And that's not the worst of it. The little human deer took a drink and turned into stone. Lady Morphea's potion has put a terrible spell what? upon the water. Who knows how many other creatures have been turned to stone since you left? Keepers of the crystals, we need your help to save Collingwood from the evil Lady Morphea. Yes. Leader, you must consult with the others and devise a plan that will make it safe to approach the waterfall. And watch out for those toadstools. They're really ogres. Each one of you should think how to use the powers of your crystal pendants to defend yourselves. Then the protector should sprinkle some of the magic crystal powder into the waterfall to make the water pure again. Use only a little. The powder is very strong. And don't drink it yourself, or the magic will be lost. Once you have made the water safe, you, healer, can use your crystal of healing to heal the deer or any other creature that may need your help. And remember to bring the Wheel of Choices with you. Leader, choose a fantasy card before you leave and give it to the Protector to carry. Protector, don't forget to bring the jewel crystals and the magic mirror with you, too. Keepers, when you have finished your mission and the waterfall is safe again, the Protector should use the mirror to read the fantasy card, and all of you should carry out the task that the card gives you. Scribe, you should record in the journal everything the group sees and does. When you have fulfilled your tasks, return to us here in Oriana's Glen. Turn off the tape now. Don't tell us what to do. Oh man, can you believe that? It's turning creatures to stone? I feel so bad for them. That means their hearts are stopping and their brains are stopping. And they just, just can't even think old about hag and ogres. Oh no. Those poor little deer. Well, I hope they're not hurting. I think I can use my ice crystal to freeze the ogres if we see them. Maybe, if I use my invisibility, we can sneak up to get close enough for your ice crystal to work. <gasps> That's a great idea. And maybe if we see any hurt animals, I can help them along the way. Yeah, help the hurt animals. What are you gonna <laughs> do? I'm gonna sprinkle something somewhere and save things. Well... Say Money. You are awesome, Al Crow. Weekly Affirmations is a gem. Affirmation for the Thumper community. Oh, wow. Wow. And also if you will a separate affirmation for Zach and staff for their work and passion. I have faith. This sin list says let it be hashtag Evo today hashtag this the season. So that was a $250 donation. That is awesome. Thank you so much late to the party. And yes, we will definitely get separate affirmations for Zach and the staff. So let me do that really yeah. quick. Prepare yourselves, princesses. We also have a uh, affirmation waiting for Rai Rai. Oh yeah, that's right. The scribe got you covered. Wait, did we, <laughs> we just do the one for Rai Rai? No, oh, no. it just happened. We, we did that. We, what? We when did. he was out We here. did the Rai Rai. Yes. Okay. So the thumpers. Uh, 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 next one is for, oh, 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 went down. I mean, oh no. Um, is there a waterfall one? Is that the waterfall one? There's one right there. What does it say? Oh God, I didn't break it. Secret it's garden. It's okay, we'll Brand fix it. Board. That's the head, that's the face. You know, that's not how max work. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. Everything's fine. She's breaking things. There's it's no okay. No, it's fine. Yes. It's fine. We do it's, not need an adult. No, it's good. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. All right, this one's for Zach. I think he's in a meeting right now, but I'll see if he can come out. Zach! Zach, 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 Zach! So, you know, I did not know until today that there is actually a video game version of uh, Tales of the Crystals. And that apparently... That's where Snuggle Lord comes from. <gasps> Are you serious? And so we've been told. <laughs> I have never been so excited about anything in my entire life. <laughs> As to know that this most treasured part of my childhood had some role in Zach's continued misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Mystery. All right, so I don't think Zach is able to come out right now, but we will give him this affirmation and I'm sure he will see it. So, Zach, you, aw, thanks for the bits, are a smiley, burrowing platypus. Yeah, 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 yeah. are so cute. So cute and so venomous. Really? Yeah, they have venom in their claws. I had no idea. You must like no sense in the final. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is for all the staff. You folks know who you are, and this is perfect, perfect for Hyper RPG staff. Are you ready for this? You are all calm, misbehaving Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It feels accurate. It feels pretty accurate. Calm, misbehaving Hydra. So that'd be like, ha <laughs> Alright, let's keep playing. Okay. Are you going to do one for the Thumpers? Whispering Forest, Castle, Muffle. Orion's Glen. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> I don't know. No. No, she likes the Thumpers. She likes the Thumpers. Yes, I, I like the Thumpers. Okay. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> It'll be our secret. Hold up, let me write it in the journal. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, no records. So, scribe. It's my one roll. <laughs> I need you to help me as leader to. Detail out what we need to do. So we need to go to the waterfall. We need to defeat the hag and her three ogres. We need to use the magic powder that Miss Apathy over here has to cleanse the water to turn all of the stone people back from stone. Did I get that right? Correct. Okay. The, the magical powder will cleanse the waters and the healer will heal the, the wounded animals. That's right. Yes, I will. And all of our crystals have their own special powers. Yours makes things go invisible. I can shoot ice beams out of mine. Can you can heal people and you do what exactly? Protect things. Uh, what does the protector do? Uh, I think I can see through lies and something. Yes. You have the power to see through the trickery behind all of Lady Morpheus' magic spells. So you will be able to tell which toadstools are really ogres. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They did mention toadstools. Yes, and you should trust me when I tell you one is a normal toadstool. While wearing this crystal, you will be able to detect a lie when you hear one. When pointed at an enemy, the crystal will turn the enemy into a friend for a whole oh. minute. <gasps> you get to have all the friends you want. I want ice crystals. I don't want friends. Trade me. Uh, no, I'm the leader. <laughs> okay, let's go to the waterfall. Okay. <coughs> uh, uh, I think it said I needed to bring some sort of jewel crystal. La, 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 la. You gotta bring the box. I'm grabbing jewels everywhere. Oh no! Oh wait, we have to pick a card from the okay. box. Open the box, open the box, open the box, no. open the box. Why does it have to be? Thanks for the bits. Pink. Where did the cards go? I hid them like you told me to. Oh, that's well, a Well, we need a new card. <sighs> Money. For AJ May, he never upset Leslie. She's vicious. <laughs> Uh, next one's for AJ. We killed him on death row, but he keeps coming back. Oh, look, look. Do you want to give this one to him? I will. Okay. AJ, you are a gentle yet exploding dragon. Uh, Which sounds a little something like... Mm, Kaboom! <laughs> I like it. That's Kaboom! Perfect. Oh, cool, cool. Perfect. All right, let's go to the waterfall. Yay! Where's the waterfall? We're looking for the waterfall. Oh, this week, 
we did affirmations and we're playing the Tales of the Crystals. Woo! Really, I'm just, oh, there we go. Wait, did you get a card? Bugs, I got a card. Did you get a card? Okay, I got a card. Well, I'm just looking I'm, for the secret. You hit them really Are well. we on camera? There we go. There we go. I don't see any, oh, secret cards. Damn it. Okay, cool. Not my secret card? No, the secret cards that Rai Rai the adult hid. Oh, you hit them really well. Oh, oh no, nope. I found, never mind, I found nothing. Oh, you weren't supposed to hide them that well, adult Rai Rai. Oh no! Okay. Adults make things so hard. Everything is behind the stone. One. Did you? Hey! What is it? Uh, it's a secret on it, and I can't tell what it says. Scribe? It's in a different language. Yes. What does it say, Scribe? I will need the journal in order to decode it. You can have the journal, because we share and we're friends. Yay! Yay! This will take me a hot minute. Okay, while you do that, let's continue traveling to the waterfall. Mm. Mm. I was still looking for cards. Mm. Okay, here is the waterfall. Yeah, what do we see? Uh, we see a incredibly lush glen opening to a thick forest opening to a shimmering sapphire pool of water at the oh, base it's so of pretty. a great waterfall with several different tiers <laughs> falling down. Tears? Tears, you, <laughs> tears, you know. Tears. Where, mm -hmm, no, not tears, tears. <laughs> what kind of princess are you? <laughs> and what I'd like to be. <laughs> <laughs> she is her own princess. <laughs> That's right. Um, and all around the pool at the bottom of the waterfall, are patches of toadstools and animals frozen in stone with their oh, heads no. bowed towards the water. Oh no, it's terrible. Look at that poor bunny. Oh, terrible. It's stuck yeah. mid-hop. Why would it be hopping and drinking at the same time? It's a very dexterous bunny. A very dexterous bunny. Dexterous bunny. Healer, can you do anything about this? Maybe you should scry to see what yeah. should happen next. We should we should be careful though, because if we get too close, then the ogres might attack us. That's right. They're okay. masquerading as toadstools. Protect you, will you protect me while I while I do my magic? Do your magic. Yeah. Okay. I will help you. Protect you. I'm gonna put all of my power into these gems and we'll see which one we should do. It looks like we should. Oh no, we lost a gem. I don't know what this means. No leader. Ariana's gone. So it, it's like yes, no healer, whisper oh, four. Like the you, leader. I see. So you Thank keep you. all four on there, and then okay. you conglomerate an answer out of I the see. things that land on. I see. I on. see. You have to scrum. Okay. So perhaps are we in Ariana's gone right now? No, we left Ariana's gone. Okay, board. just checking. Okay. Maybe the leader and the protector can. Use some of the magic powder and sprinkle it onto the, uh, the stone animals and uh, give them a hug and they'll, they'll come back to life. Okay, we I should sprinkle. Try you hug. That works for me. Okay, let's okay, go. go. So we creep up on the animals, <gasps> but then. Bruh! Oh god! Oh Two god. of the oh toadstools god. turned into ogres! Uh, we forgot oh no. that they were masquerading as toadstools! Yes, yeah. we did! They're 15 feet high and oh they're green god. and they have giant clubs and they look so hungry and they smell like mucus! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? What do we do, Protector? Well, I'll protect you guys, obviously. It's fine. Are there any other toadstools ready out to, to destroy us? Oh yeah, there's like 14 of them here. Ah! There's only three! There's oh, there's two here! Toadstools. We <gasps> three. There's only three. Don't look behind us. I'll freeze it. You make the other two into friends. Ready, okay. Set. Yeah! yeah! And ice beams go out of mine at the ogre that was approaching us from behind and freezes him for a whole Money. A tip for my favorite show of the week. Thanks, Grinny. Thank you. What does yours do? 
I have two friends. They want to play hopscotch, it looks like. <laughs> They're making, like, hopscotch motions. You're really good at hopscotch. Yeah. Though. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. You promised. I'm sorry. I just think that if you've got a gift, you should share it with the world. You're supposed oh, to keep share promises, things. Too. You are supposed to I'm keep promises. Sorry. Now he knows I play hopscotch. I'm really embarrassed. All right, so this is for Grinny Weasley. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are, because we're really enjoying this. <laughs> so you are a sparkly, capering, sphinx, meow. <laughs> was an assist. So this is Weekly Affirmations. This is our penultimate show of season one. We're wrapping up after this. And today we're playing Tales of the Crystals by the person who created Jim and the Holograms. We're currently mid-play. We've just had our first instruction from our audio cassette. It was fabulous. And now we're going to the waterfall to try to like make some poison stop working by turning people into stone. I don't know, that's what we have a scribe for. So, I froze mine. Thank you I for have the two follow. friends that want to play hopscotch. Cool. While they're distracted, you should pour the stuff onto the animals okay. in, in the in the water. Yeah. Okay. Hurry! On. You only have a minute! I can't hold them off for much longer. My power is draining. Powder springs, powder. Can we get Do you want to actually spread the powder on the floor? I really don't want to do that. Oh, no. Spread the powder? Okay. There's more people have to. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's working. Like Sailor Moon. It's working. It looks like it's not poison anymore. Oh, that makes me so sad. I can see all of the clouding and now it's, it's going dissipating. Away. The animals are slowly becoming animals again. <gasps> but what do we do about the ogres? I can't hold them off for long. There's three ogres and they all want to play charades. Well, you yeah. should both play charades with each other far from here. And yeah, all of you should go, here, come with me, come play charades, and then we'll all just dance into this corner and they're gonna walk off that way and I'm gonna just pretend like I didn't see them leave. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Well, oh, I think we did what Oriana and the great tree wanted. We should probably go back to her glen. Yeah. Okay. I've translated half the secret message. What does it say? What does it say? It says, Lady Morpheus' swamp goblins are marching against us. <gasps> That's terrible. Oh. Lady Oriana's terrible. I want to be Go to... We have to go tell Lady Oriana that Lady Morpheus your... is gathering the goblins. What Let's go back to Oriana's to glen. Yeah, we yes, have we do. do. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Choo, 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 choo. Do, 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 do. Go to Orion's Garden. <gasps> Woo! Magical Tailors, Unicorns. I'm protecting because I'm a princess. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. All right, we're back at Oriana's Glen. Okay, yes. It does indeed say we should go to our forest. <laughs> our forest glen. Uh, okay. Uh, so. We approach the great art Oak and Oriana and we tell them of our doings with the goblins and the secret message we found. I'll actually let you do that, Scribe. Tell them about the secret yes, message? Yes, tell them yes. about what we found. It says that Lady Morphia's swamp goblins are marching against us. We found it along the way to the, um, to the waterfall where we have made friends with all of the ogres and sent them off to play somewhere far away. So, I think we need to hear what to do next, right? Uh, yes. Uh, probably from that card that we pulled out, that we do at the end of- when What does the card it? say? Oh, hold on, I have to do magic. Ew. Ew. You like doing magic. Not the kind that has pink on it. God, it's way cooler magic. Okay. It says, careful, spies may be around you at any time. Protector, that's me. Teach your fellow keepers a hand signal that you'll use when your crystal of true sight detects a spy. Scribe, record this hand signal in your journal. So it's gonna be a very specific, like... <sighs> but you do that all the time. Yeah, how are you supposed to know? Okay, fine, so it'd be like... Like yeah, a really, that really would excited, be really... like... Okay. Yeah. Okay, Wait, can we so, practice? Yes, let's do the hand sign together. Ready? Okay. Yeah, you said it! 
Come on, you gotta do it. it looks real. Ah, okay, yay! Okay. All right, that's our new secret hand sign for liars and infiltrators. Yes. For sure. Yes. Okay. It's any of us. Oh, oh God. it's okay. We know you're good, healer. I was I'm worried sorry. for a moment that I might be evil. All right, are we ready for cassette session two? I think we are. Okay, yeah. let's hear it. once again, thanks to your great courage and cleverness. This is Fairy Wheat! It's Lenore, Queen of the Forest Fairies! Oh, rest on my hand, Queen Lenore! I've never seen you fly with such speed! Oh, sorrow and woe! Nasty Lady Morphea has captured a unicorn and locked him in the Castle of Dread! Keepers, no. you must set him free! Beware of traps, for Morphea is cunning and protects her Castle of Dread with spells and tricks. Perhaps the Protector's Crystal of True Sight can help you find a hidden door into her castle. And watch out for her ogres and smoke goblins. So you must think carefully and use all the powers of your crystals as needed to help us save the unicorn. Leader, choose another fantasy card before you leave. Healer, don't forget the Wheel of Choices. And Protector, bring the magic mirror, the jewel crystals, the magic powder, and the fantasy card that the leader has chosen. But what do they do if they find the unicorn and he doesn't want to follow them? Keepers, I will tell you one way to win a unicorn's trust. Make up a short poem about unicorns, then whisper it in the unicorn's ear and he will follow you. Once you have freed the unicorn, the protector should read the fantasy card in the magic mirror to learn your next challenge. Scribe, write down everything that happens in your adventures. Then return to us here in the Glen. Our love goes with you. Turn off the tape now. Okay, okay. We have to go rescue a unicorn from her evil nasty castle. I love Unicorns! She's not gonna hurt one of them. Let's go. Wow. All right. I Don't never... ask about it. Let's just do this. But first, I need to gather some more magic crystal powder. I'll be right back. I think I have some here. Hold on. Hold on. I have some. Do you? Or did you use it all in the waterfall? Don't use that one. Wait, okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Sounds really I don't bad. This castle. It sounds Here's really more scary. I bet there are cobwebs and big scary spiders. That's okay. I'll protect us, and the spiders will be our friends while we need them to. Let's go see. Well, your mom lives in a castle, and it's not so bad. Some castles are very nice if drafty. Well, if you get scared, you can come here, and I'll make us both invisible. Oh, I, yeah. I would love to stay invisible in this scary <laughs> castle. <laughs> Well, we can be invisible some of the time. Okay. I wouldn't Should... want to deplete the magic. Okay. Do we want to come up with a poem for the unicorn now, or do it ad lib? We should do it now. We should be prepared. Okay. Scribe, do you want to take down the unicorn poem? Absolutely. Now would be a really good time for Prosperous Guard to <laughs> come up with a poem for us. Oh boy. While we are awaiting our, uh, our, um, what that is the word? Me, While we are awaiting our poet laureate, <laughs> perhaps, uh, we can talk about how we will get to the castle. Oh wait, you just kid said stubborn unicorns never wanting to follow. How about a haiku? That's pretty good. We should write that one down and use it just in case. What other poems do you have for us, creatures? We need your help. We need your help and, and stuff. stuff. Oh god. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> I can see absolutely nothing. We can we can read for you here. <laughs> It's okay. Word on the street is that unicorn is the same as horse, just add sparkles. That's not true. Unicorns have horns and they can detect virgins uh, and purity and stuff. So we're gonna get along great. Except for you. You're a liar. <laughs> That's not true. <clears throat> Expert. <laughs>
She looks like she has a really sharp beak. She's fine. She's fine. Be nice. Money. Information for the kidney I lost at Candy Mountain. And <laughs> oh, that was from Charlie. Charlie, is that you? Oh, Charlie. That was great. Oh yeah. Also, the Griffin bad back, so we're okay. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you for following us, uh, Ishmael and Opalaza. Yes. All right, Charlie, this one is for your kidney. <laughs> Sorry um, about your kidney, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's kidney. Charlie. You are a flamboyant, befriending centaur. That's really quite fitting. It didn't happen. <laughs> yes, this is real. This is totally real. This is Weekly Affirmations, the show about indie and freeform analog games. And today, oh, no. we are playing Tales of the Crystals, a game by Crystal. Wait, oh, Crystal? Marks. Christy Marks. Christy. I got it. Christy Marks. <laughs> uh, the creator of Jim and the Holograms. This was made in 1993 and it is literally a life in a box and it is so cool. And right now we need to go to the evil castle and save a freaking unicorn because this is the best game ever. Let's get on the griffin. Don't, do we all have to curse Oh Yeah. Okay. Here's the griffin. I'm just going to pet the griffin. The good curtsy. Eye contact is very important. Here. <laughs> okay, she likes you. You're good. Okay. Whatever. All right, it's not me. Because I'm... Okay, she likes you too. You're good. Yay! She seems a little iffy on you. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She's with me. I'll sit on the back. Okay, you're good. Let's go. Okay, let's all get on the griffin together. You should be at the front. Okay. All right, let's ride the griffin to the castle. Oh, yeah. Away! We're gonna ride the griffin. Yay! Keep up. We have okay. to save the, the unicorn. unicorn in Castle Dread 
Uh, there might be a hidden door involved. There will definitely be ogres. And then we'll have to say a poem to the unicorn to get him to go with us. Because He's... apparently they're just like complete dicks. But we came prepared. <laughs> we wrote a poem beforehand. Yes. So if you have other poems you want to share that we could try, we would love those too. We have several, just in case the first one doesn't work. Okay. I think that we should all go invisible with you and sneak in. Okay, so we all right, have to touch yeah. her? Yes. Uh -huh. So I will, I will touch the crystal. Okay. Your crystal power is activated. Crystal power is activated. We are invisible. Let's see. Maybe we could use your gem while we're invisible to try and find the hidden door. Oh, right. Good idea. Okay. Okay. Sink, 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 sink. I see it. <gasps> Do you see that little red outline right there? No. Yeah. There it is. I think only you can see it. Oh, okay. I can see it. It's that what you want. Lead okay. the way. Okay. Well, I keep holding me. Don't let me go. Don't let her sink. go. Sink. Sink. Okay. Sink. Hold. Holding. It's really small okay. though. We're gonna have to like come in. Oh no. oh no! Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. I'm oh no! Ready. I'm not visible. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and the ogres see you, and we have to run. <laughs> can be blue. If you come riding out on a unicorn, everyone will love you. That's so true. That is a good well, maybe since we just froze a couple of them, we could crack one of them and then we could sneak past it and we can, we can, oh, I don't know. Try we again. Okay. That's the same. <laughs> oh, it really wants us to murder the hell out of those ogres. <laughs> We're trying to do this. I'm you know, done with the Unicorns way. are the best. They're way more magical than the rest. If you follow, we can save you. Just stay close because the castle is a maze, yo. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, maybe, maybe Princess Apathy can. You know how you got those ogres to do some, t like, uh, hopscotch? Maybe we could get them to play other games, too. <sighs> okay, my arm's getting tired. What's a good game? Uh, Jax. Hide and seek. <gasps> hide and seek. Tree is a climbing. Great one. There's no trees inside a castle. Stop being weird. Hide and seek. <laughs> and they should all hide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna sneak out of here okay. in this hiding place and make friends with all of them. Maybe Don't we should stay them. hiding. You guys can go together. You keep them invisible. We'll just stay here and stay super quiet. We'll just reveal ourselves to one at a time. Yeah. And you can make friends with them and send them off hiding. Okay. All right, okay, go, 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 go. Uh, okay, there's one right there. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Okay, reveal. <laughs> Hi, ogre friend. Do you want to play hide and seek with me? Okay, you hide, I seek. Ready? Okay, get the next one. Okay, let's go. Okay. And montage. We do this with a lot of ogres montage, and it works. Montage, <laughs> montage. Okay. okay. Now I'm just getting tired. Don't go now. I 
see yeah. it. Well, be. There's a lock on the door. Maybe I can freeze it. Yeah. All right. Wait, I can see past doors. Well, you're so weak. I don't want you to use more of your energy. Good call. I don't want to sweat. Uh, yeah. And an ice ray goes to the lock and then freezes it off. Get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Ha. Warrior elf princess. Yeah. That's right. Achoo. All right. Okay, that was kind of cool. Maybe you're all right. She's super cool. Be nice to her. That nice. was pretty nice for, for Princess Abby. Okay, I'm sorry. It was very mean. We open the door into a dark, musty room at the top of the tower, and we see huddled in the corner and hobbled a very, very unhappy unicorn. Mike, do you want to be our unicorn? Yes, yes. Come, Mark, come back. Come. Yes! yes! As we approach this the unicorn, I'm being brought You're literally the best. It, it may need healing, so you should maybe prepare yourself okay. spiritually. <laughs> we look upon the glorious unicorn and his personage shining with truth and light and beauty. Even through all the muck it's, on his fur. It's the most beautiful thing oh, I've ever so seen. Ever seen. In it's, my whole life. It's amazing. I love it. It's all inspiring. Oh, I'm so glad I'm a virgin. I can't wait. I can't wait <laughs> to show this beauty. Shut up. Sorry, I just got something stuck in my throat. It's unicorn sparkles. It doesn't count. <laughs> Try out the window. Okay. Okay. So maybe oh, this so sounds like an excellent plan. Okay. So maybe like one person will on his tail and then we'll chain link all the way down. Will that work? I've got the tail. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't think you're gonna go back. Oh, oh, I don't think I like flying. Oh. I like flying.
lying on a Gryffindor. Uh, 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 I think we've, we've worn him out. You Thank you, you unicorn. unicorn again. You helped save us all. No problem. Oh. Well, I think we should get back to Oriana's Glen. I yes. Agree. We should definitely. Unicorn, are you going to be okay from here? Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go take a little unicorn rest and eat some alfalfa and sugar cubes and then we'll tell Oriana that you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye, Bye unicorn. unicorn! Oh no, don't die! Bye! Bye. Good, good, <laughs> good night, unicorn! Bye. Um, yeah. Can we get an affirmation for our market corn? Team player number one, hashtag Neonet, yes. hashtag Mark, Mark Brown. Girl, so you're so great. Thank you for playing Mark, with us. You're a pretty pretty unicorn. Oh my god, I shit you not. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I just can't believe that this happened. Look what this says. Look at this says. You see that? Okay, Mark. I swear to god, I just pulled them. You are a fluffy, blinking, Unicorn. Oh, yay! Woo! What does that sound like? Woo! Fluffy, guys. It's fluffy. fluffy. Super fluffy. A fluffy unicorn. It's so perfect. Fluffy it's the most perfect thing. Dancing on it's so perfect. <laughs> yay! All right, let's hurry back to the glen and see what Oriana yes. has to Remember say. Remember the card. Oh yeah, oh, we gotta get the card first. Right. What does the card say? Uh, we gotta use the magic mirror. Okay, okay, with the pink magic. Good God. <laughs> oh, it says. <gasps> Lady Morphea has made plans to cut down the trees into this grand forest. <gasps> That's my forest, that bitch. Oh! Keepers, we have to protect the trees by sprinkling a little of the magic crystal powder around them. We have to protect the trees. Damn right we have to protect the trees. With the Not magical Hillenda. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar free. Okay. Okay. I, got, I have the magical Slenda. Okay. Do we have enough magic powder for all the trees? It's magic. It'll be fine. Okay. We'll just heal her. Just blow it around. Yeah, it'll be fine. That's good. That's good. Okay. 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 Hold on. Here. Maybe I should have some too. Oh, remember, I used. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do we say any magic spell words? Don't no. eat it. <laughs> that hey. remember that negates the magic. Oh, right. <laughs> but it tastes so good. <laughs> um. Uh. The magic words we should say. Um, All right, I'll tell you what they are. It's really gross, though. You have to tell the trees you love them. <gasps> oh, oh, I love you, tree. I love you, I tree. Love you, tree. <sighs> I love you, tree. You're the best tree. Oh, you're so tall and handsome. Tree. You're so good at being a tree. You're Maybe so this will protect them enough for now, but we should get back to the glen. You yes. know, I really just needed to say the I love you. Never mind. It's fine. Okay. But I meant it. All right, let's talk to Oriana. Do do do, we go back to her glen and listen to her talk with our cassette tape. Cause it's awesome. Once again, I congratulate you. I saw the unicorn running with his herd in the meadow and knew you had succeeded. But while you were gone, Morphea has been up to new mischief, as Bannock and the other village elders have come to tell you. We are frightened by forest fairies who fly through the village and turn villagers into zombie followers of Lady Morphea. What? My people would never do that. How true, Queen Lenore. These must be ogres that Lady Morphea has transformed into false fairies. But we need someone who has the power to tell true from false. Or someone who can sneak up on them unseen and catch them in a bottle. Keepers, once again, we call upon you to save Collingwood. Protector, you can use your crystal of true sight to turn the zombies back into normal villagers. But it would be wise to go to the village in disguise, wearing hats or scarves or other clothing to hide who you are. Mm. If the villagers become suspicious, you can show them your crystal pendants to prove your identities. Leader, choose a fantasy card before you all go to catch the false fairies and give the card to the Protector to carry along with the magic mirror, magic powder, and jewel crystals. When the village is restored and safe again, have the protector read the card in the mirror to learn your next task. Healer, you should have the Wheel of Choices with you, for it may be needed. Scribe, record all your adventures in the journal. Return here to the Glen when you are done. Go quickly. Turn off the tape now. 
Okay, so Please. Morpheus ogres have been changed into false fairies and they're turning villagers into zombies and the only way to turn them back is with your magic power. And we have to sneak up on them with your magic power and we also have to dress up so that they don't know that we're the crystal bearers and we should hide these until the villagers oh question us. Gosh. So, let's get our disguises on. This is getting crazier and crazier. Zombies? Ogres and zombies, and I don't I know if I can do it. this, you guys. You can do it. It's all right. Okay. You can do it. I'm disguised. Are you sure you can't turn me invisible the whole time? Urgh. Uh, Urgh. Okay, disguise. I'm disguised. We're disguised. Uh, disguised. Okay, I'm disguised. Get my hair. Okay. There you go. That's okay. We'll work with that. What's your disguise? Don't be tighter. You can't do an extra flower. <laughs> I do not like, more flowers. unrecognizable. <laughs> I can't go invisible. That's oh, true. If I can get this flower in my head, I will be unrecognizable! <laughs> All right. So, I guess we have to go to the village, right? Yes. I guess so. We must go to the village. <laughs> you look like you have a beard. In secret. You shut up. <laughs> we, must, we must go to the village in secret and find the false fairies, uh, either by seeing through their illusion or by sneaking up to them and catching them in the act as they turn the villagers into zombies. <laughs> All right, well, before we do that, this is Weekly Affirmations. This is the season finale, and we are playing The Tales of the Crystals, which is an awesome LARP in a box for like little girls who are like eight or nine, and we are having <laughs> Really the best time ever. Um, you can get an affirmation from us, maybe you've seen a couple of those, by either subscribing or donating at least $5. And remember, you can add a card to the deck by donating at least $25. I'm really hoping for the ant eater. I'm gonna be really sad if we don't see it today. Okay, back to business. Back to business. So we should be trying to be like villagers, right? Yeah. So they're all like, firewood. Oh, water. Is, is this what villagers, is this how they yeah, walk? I, I think so. People do. Villagers all hobble? Well, aren't they bent and tired from backbreaking work in the fields? I mm -hmm. would like some I'm a princess, bread. I don't know. I have been digging coal. Not coal, potatoes. 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 They're nature's uh, candy. They're nature's potatoes. candy is okay. true. Hey, you don't know me. Eggs. They're talking about me being right Eggs You're for right. sale. Shush, shush, shush. Nature's oh, potatoes. Firewood. Yeah, potatoes. We are. Wait, wait. And they find out we don't actually have these things to sell. Then we'll freeze them. I don't know. I'm just a normal lady oh, walking okay. through oh, the village oh, okay. I'm on my way. All day Thanks. collecting oh, potatoes. I'm so Thanks. tired from all this firewood. Yes. All right. We've successfully made it okay. to the village. No oh. one suspects a thing. Ever. We're the cleverest princesses. <laughs> I'm gonna Thank shine my light on the village and see if we can't see any tallest. Okay. Oh, my back. Oh, oh it hurts. Oh. My back. Oh. I see one. Oh, no. There it is. Do you know those fake fairies? Yeah. Mm. I think it's about to go get somebody. We should run after it. We should. We should. We can sneak and, and catch up to him before he no, sees us. No, just kill it with your ice crystal. Just, just. Kill just, it? I mean, I mean, I mean, hobble okay. it gently right. and with okay. love just and happiness. I'll freeze it, I'll freeze it. Okay, come on. So we sneak up on the fairy that is actually an ogre, and, oh no, where's my crystal? Oh, oh here it is, no, I got it. Okay. Uh, I'm the princess and I freeze you! And the villager goes, ah! No, don't worry, we're here to save you! It's okay! We're professionals! We it, do this the to be the all same, the time. The zombies? What? No, uh, nothing. Is it? Was the villager a zombie or not yet? Not yet. We okay. saved the villager from being we a zombie. Yes. Oh. oh my goodness, though. I think after we take care of this one, I think I see a group that looks suspiciously shambly. <gasps> oh no! Is it zombies? I think it might be. No, oh, I don't so like zombies. many of them. Maybe you should go first. Hi guys! So great to meet you. I'm a big fan. We're going to have to heal them. You can do it. Come on, you're coming yes. over here. I'm you. gonna be friends with them if you don't fix it. But they're gross. Okay, I 
believe in you and you can do okay. it. Come on. Just, okay. You're great okay. And, okay. and we're friends okay. and you Maybe can do I it. don't have to touch them. Maybe I can just do it. Okay. 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 Right. I'm going to look right at them. I'm going to look them each right in the eye. You can do and it. And I'm going to think really hard about all their wounds closing up and all of their shambling stopping. Mm. And suddenly they're going to start standing up a little straighter and talking a little louder. I think it's working. <sighs> do it harder. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Too hard. Please. I think you're they're okay. I got her. <laughs> I think they're gonna be okay. Their eyes are clear again. Aww. Yay! Yay! Hello? Hello, villagers. We're princesses. We just saved you. No, no, no. We're not. We're, 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 we're traveling. Simple. Oh, oh, we're we're oh. Would you like to buy some eggs? This is what we are. No, we. Uh, I've been old growing ways. potatoes yeah, old ways, old ways. on a potato tree. Let's just keep oh. walking. Thanks everyone very much. Bye. Have a good life. Goodbye. Okay. Hubble, hubble, hubble. All right. Hubble. Well, that went okay, but we better find the rest of the kids. Yes. <gasps> what? None of mine. So oh. How many more fairies do you take? I don't know. This thing probably is gonna shine. Maybe if we get to a tall place in the village where we have a good view of the entire village, oh. we can look down from above and see all of the things. You and your good ideas. Got it. All right, I'm gonna climb on top of that roof. Help me up. Push. Uh, uh, Oops, I slipped. Uh, hey. oh, no. You're terrible. I'm Let's not. Try again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, um, oh, there's definitely one over by that cow pasture. I just saw that fairy turn people into zombies. Is it burning cows though? No, just people. We'll run over and get oh, it. Go, okay. go, go. Running, running. Okay, make us invisible and then I'll touch the zombie because then it won't be able to see me and it'll We're be okay. We're invisible. Wait, okay. how do I get down? They left me. Okay. We just need it. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna touch. The, we're gonna you can touch do it. Just close your eyes and do it. We're gonna do Bank it. Bank of England, do it. Okay. <laughs> and I put my hand on the zombie's shoulder and I put all my energy into it. And I think really hard, good healing thoughts. And I open my eyes and the zombie's healed. It's just a normal guy. It's Yay. a miracle. Yay. Now get that fairy. Oh, right. Uh. Zap it. Do I have to? Yes. Okay, fine. It's not working. Do you need to be closer? No, I think I need Hey, someone wanna touch my book. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Because it makes me nauseous. All right, here we go. I think I see them using friendship powers up there. No, you no. didn't. You can't prove anything. You don't know me. We totally did. I told totally you did. to write that down. <laughs> friendship powers. You liked it. Mm, can't prove it. All right. Who did we get them all? Let's look. I don't see any. Do you? No, but there's a villager down there that looks like he needs our help. Down there, like guys. To the left or the right? The right. No, my right. Okay. It looks like he's stuck in a ditch or something. Oh. Um. Ex Hello, good wait, sir. Wait. 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 Maybe I can freeze them from here. But if he's a spy, maybe we should find it. Like, Kame! Kame! I saw this on a TV show. Kame! Kame! I will see you on this episode! She's going Super Saiyan! It's over in a thousand! How is that possible? You guys are the best. <laughs> so I freeze. The guy is solid, and now it's safe for you to approach. Okay. Maybe we should carry him back to the glen so they can question him because he's a spy. And study him. Oh. Let's carry Are him. Are we going to cut back him back. open? No! no. <laughs> That's where really the uniform makes it. Where did that come from? <laughs> that way, nothing. <laughs> All right, so we <laughs> pick up the giant, now frozen guy who's really heavy, <sighs> and we lug him back <sighs> to our secret fort. <sighs> 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 Unceremoniously. Ooh. I hope that didn't shatter him. He was, I think it took a bit off his elbow. He's, he's fine. fine. He's okay. He's okay. <sighs> well, who is this? 
We should wrap some rope around him. I bet he's one of... And then... Go ahead, sorry. What's her name? Morphia. That lady. He also looks like... spies. He also looks like your little brother. (gasps) Your little brother? I didn't even recognize him. Joseph, how could you? (gasps) Maybe, maybe it's a changeling and it's not really Joseph. Maybe Joseph is Maybe Lady else. Morphe is just playing tricks on us. Oh, what do we do? Okay, intrigued. no, I'm the leader and I will lead. So we're going to tie him up and we're going to question him later when he thaws out. Is that how that works? He thaws out? But I like your idea of rope. We should tie him up so okay. he can't run so away. Okay, tie him. <laughs> and we, then we should probably go back to the Glen and tell Oriana. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna be in trouble, or are we gonna be? But, She's gonna be happy that we brought. But first, back we need there. to read the card. Right. I remember this time. We're <laughs> learning. The pink magic. Some of us are experienced it. veterans at this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does it say? Yeah, you guys could do this just as easily as I could. No one has the ability to use unlock the power of the magic mirror. Yeah. Oh, it's that lady Morphea again. She transformed some of the swamp goblins into forest animals and has sent them to spy on us. More (gasps) spies? I'm going to have to use my crystal of true sight to reveal the spies. And then we have to catch them and take them to Queen Lenore, who will then change them back into swamp goblins. So everybody around us has all these secrets and they could be against us and nobody can be trusted? This is like adulthood. Welcome to my world. It's okay. It's not okay. It's sort of okay. It's sort of okay. It might be okay someday. We You'll have to right. make it okay ourselves, because that's the only way to be happy. That and wine. <laughs> now we're right, talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do we want to try to solve this first before we go back to Oriana? I feel like this is a pressing matter. I agree. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the resub, Lady Jane. All right, so what do we do? We have to shine. We have to go into the forest. Oh. It's almost dark, too. Oh. And we're going to have to shine this to find a spy, a fake forest animal. And then we have to, we have to gently, with sparkles, capture it. And we'll bring it back with the other spy, too. Being a princess is hard. I'm tired. This is a lot of work. I told you guys before we started this. You yeah, can't so... help it. I was born in this. Mm-hmm. All you right. were too. Okay. All right, gang. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, forest. Grab forest creatures mm, from the night. So we go to the forest and we approach the edge as the sun sets blood red in the background. (gasps) Crows fly overhead, (laughs) menacingly, in what used to be a lovely place where we frolicked and played with innocence and delight has now become the forest of darkness. Ah! (laughs) It's so pretty here. I don't know about you. See, you're starting to sound like me already. There are lots of scary things in the forest. I will lead with my... It'll be okay. Plus we're invisible, so... Right? Oh, now we're invisible. Now we're invisible! Now we're super two for one awesome. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm shining the lights. Creeping, 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 creeping. There's a little bunny, hold on. Ah! Ah, bunny! Shh, 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 shh. No, it's just a bunny, it's fine. Keep going, keep going. There's an owl up there. Ah! No, it's fine. It's just okay. Fine. All right. Okay. 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 Is that a wolf? Oh god. Is it? It looks pretty good. I don't see it. Are we all looking at the same spot? Oh, oh no, that's just walls. a coyote. Okay. Ah! But there's a snake. There's a snake. Ah! We're going to have to capture it. Oh,
we will drag the, the frozen guy with the rope, and we'll go back to the castle. Are you ready? Not the castle. The, no, the, to the Glen. Yeah, the Glen. The Glen. Lake. Okay, right. we're I don't go. want to go back to that castle. That was scary. Ugh. I liked it in the park. It's going to unfreeze. So I know. It's heavy. Oh, oh, no. 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 Thank you for the bits. Here we go. Yes, okay. Well, hi. Hi. Well, we lay these things at Ori on his feet. Goodness. And we listen to what she has to say. This is really hard, Princess Ward. <sighs> I feel like I've gotten my cardio in for the day. I like spiders. It was a snake. Are you paying attention? Snakes are scary. God. Spiders are horrible! Actually, they're kind of neat. They <sighs> Good work, Keepers of the Crystals. Vanek and the other village elders send you their deepest thanks. Wonder where that pointy-eared pest Pip has gotten to. Haven't seen him around for quite some time. Now, 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 old man Oak. Just because he chases a few squirrels in your branches. Look! Here he comes now, running as though all the swamp goblins of Lady Morphea were after him. They are! They are! The other sprites and me were playing tag at the waterfall, and Lady Morphea sent her swamp goblins to attack us. They won't, and won't, and my friends are all hurt bad. Please, Shamrock, come and help them. Oh, of course she will. She'll bring the crystal of healing and the wheel of choices with her to help you. Leader, choose a fantasy card for the protector to carry. Protector, carry the card along with the magic mirror, jewel crystals, and magic powder. Leader, one of those shifty swamp goblins may be hiding nearby to catch anyone one else who comes along, approach with caution. When the healer has finished healing the sprites, the protector should read the fantasy card in the mirror and everyone do as it says. Scribe, write down the details of all that you have done. It would be wise to describe how the sprites were helped and healed in case it should happen again. Hurry back here when you're done. Turn off the tape now. <sighs> is there, is anyone else here and you feel like Ariana's errand girl? I mean, she's nice, but... Really You'd think she would maybe take care of some of this a little bit on her own. I think she might have some guards to do this. Some minions, some lackeys. Maybe we should ask to get paid. People who are not, you know, royal. Well... It is the burden of wearing the crystal. <sighs> I say we just hang around and eat some popcorn. Can we take a nap? Honestly, those things You can take a nap. Didn't fire the missile! Didn't fire the missile! <laughs> All right, let's just Amnitize. let's get this over with. Okay. Come on, Ugh. we gotta save Pip. Yeah, yes. Pip's kind of annoying though. Yes. Oh well. The, you know, you still help the friends you find annoying. That's this true. Until you get better friends. friends. Don't you think you have lost more flowers? I don't want to talk about it. Perhaps they you totally think that we're your friends. Shut up! Oh, <laughs> Did she say that we were our friends? She said she did. Hold on. And earlier, she I recorded said. in the immutable record that there was a friendship magic use. It was so oh. magical. You guys are the worst. I really like you. Oh. It was. Oh, oh God. Oh. Maybe we can be. <gasps> can we all be best friends? No, yes. What? No, we can all be best friends. This is too much. It's fine, Wait. everything's fine. Okay. What if Pip is Lady Morphia in disguise? <gasps> no! We've known Pip for years. I know, but you never know with some people. Well, if your brother was a spy, that maybe Pip would be too. No, Actually, I don't want to really believe it. I don't want to believe it. I hate to admit, but that is might be the thing. Maybe I should just freeze Pip and bring his butt back here. And then we can shine this on him to know if he's lying or not. We should do that. Okay. Do we have energy for this? Let's go. Okay. We can uh, do this. Uh, if our wearied princesses again uh, venture uh, out. Oh, uh, God. Sprites. Sprites need healing. And hip. Sprites. And everyone's hurt. We got this. And we march around. We, we can do this. Oh, I want secret cards. Yeah, yeah. I have like to code. I think the they other were hidden. Yes, yeah, that was the one about the swamp goblins. They were hidden too well. Where did they all go? Didn't we tell him not to hide them anymore? I did. I specifically said don't hide them too hard. His evaluation. Adults don't listen to kids. He was so. hiding them. And he should, uh, 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 adult. <laughs> hey, we need an adult. Adult. I'll just grab. Adult. Oh. We need adult. Haha. <laughs> Those of you wearing. What?
What's wrong, friends? children? What took you so long? Can your tiny little brains not handle my... I mean, no, can did. your... Uh, can you... Did I... I said that wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, do you, you guys need a hint is what I was trying to ask. You hit the cards too hard for kids. Mmm. Here's a hint. Somewhere <laughs> higher than children can usually reach. Aw, oh, that's not fair. You but you're creative. Okay, really, if you think about this, oh, the, re it. the reason they were hidden so uh, carefully was because I thought you guys were so smart and capable, which you have proven to be. Well, I'm we gonna get out. Thank you. Be <laughs> we nice should to tie him adult. up and freeze him. Shh. Okay. All right. You found a new secret card. What does yeah, it say? I think you're on this one as far as not being all it sparkles and rainbows. This is the holder card. Dear parents, to encourage your child's imagination <laughs> and to enhance the tales of the crystal's experience, please hide these secret messages throughout the play area set up by your child. Sincerely, your tales of the crystal's... This is garbage. Oh, let's find another one. Uh, right we can do this. Let's look adults high some more. Why are adults so mean? Could one have been hidden in with the dice? Or I hope not. Boring. Oh, you killed it! It's a pit boy. Oh, I didn't break it. It uh, wasn't me. Didn't this is what you get, boy. adults. <sighs> yeah, they deserve this. They wanted to buy me a new one. Oh god, this is the worst. Oh, this is just like really oh, We're just gonna. <laughs> we're just gonna. It's fine. Can you put it on the table? It's fine. Yeah, Everything is fine. fine. It's fine, okay. All right, I think we should give up for now. No, we are not gonna find another secret. The adults are too weak. Never give up. Never surrender. You know, believe in yourself. Alright, I just don't want to be off camera too long because that's really boring. Uh, Someone dance a jig! <laughs> you heard him. Bye bye, get out here. <laughs> There's like, oh, I found one, I found one for real. Yay! Yay! I found it. Scrub do adult things. It says baseball eyeball spider apple ring eyeball tree heart eye spider web apple. <laughs> Tree, eye, ring, happy I face. I think it's a secret code. Oh. Oh, good. Good. You get working on that. E, e, We're S, going a, to go kick some sprites' R. butts, I think, or something. E. I'm getting confused. What was it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm the leader, and I say we're going to freeze pit. We so got we a freeze pit. We might have these four eyes. And we, <laughs> do we, we find pit. <laughs> Wait, first we're going to shine the lantern to make sure it was a spy. Go for it! We don't know, it's inconclusive. We can't it's tell. We can't tell. Face, There's a spot. A sparkle about him that makes me. I just don't like to look in his eyes. All right. Freeze, Pip! Alright, I've got the frozen Pip. You still need to uh, heal the sprites, though. Yeah, I sure do. They're all just kind of hanging out, like sitting on the floor with their heads in their hands, feeling really sick. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna give them some, like, you know, I'm gonna touch their heads and they're not gonna feel so nauseous anymore. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Does it work? It worked. Yay! Okay. Friends, friends, what? friends! What? What? Isn't it? It's nighttime now. We, yes. We've established that. Uh huh. <laughs> the message reads Beware the waterfall at night. No! Oh, no. We better leave. Or, alternative idea, <laughs> we should go check out the waterfall for whatever danger might be there. We should go check out the waterfall well, for whatever danger might be there. I'll admit to not being the most brave of princesses, but I think that if we want to protect our beautiful Glen, we need to go protect it ourselves. All right, all right. That's what I have to say. I, as the leader, proclaim that we shall go to the waterfall before bringing Pip back to Oriana. Yay! Yay! She's starting to sound like me. No, I don't. Ah. This is a fun game. You kind of do. No, I don't. Let's go to the waterfall. Are we being friends? Apathetic friends, apathetically? Maybe. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're off to see the <laughs> 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 
All right, we go to the waterfall. It's nighttime. I have a frozen pip in my hand. I think pip is a squirrel or a chipmunk or something. Oh, I don't know. Okay, you've got the frozen pip. We're at like the waterfall at things. night. You brought us here. Yes. What do you see? Ah, oh, everything is so quiet. Two. One. Hey! Stop. Subscribe. <laughs> Are what keep UFC this channel running. Fool. UFC fool? We've got it. So here is your affirmation, UFC fool. Are you ready for this? You. Oh. UCF Subscriber. Woo! Our gifted articulating nagas. Just like that. Yes. Yeah. And the next one for our other new subscriber, Sub Hype, who was named Hysteria. I love it. Right? Hysteria? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hysteria, you Ooh. are a zealous, bemusing Yeti. What does that sound like? You're raising your hand. I was, uh, oh. A zealous <laughs> bemusing, blushing. Oh, it, oh, it is blushing. A zealous blushing yeti. Sounds like, uh. <laughs> oh, man. That doesn't get old. <laughs> Never gets old. The amount of power that she wields is truly frightening. <laughs> I can embarrass anyone at any time when they have to do it because they're on my show. <laughs> so guys, this is Weekly Affirmations. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, this is one of many shows on Hyper RPG. We explore indie and freeform RPGs. And this is actually our season one finale. So we're gonna go on break after this episode. Today we're playing Tales of the Crystals, uh, which is an awesome game, a LARP in a box, for small children, and we've decided, screw it, we're gonna play anyway, because it's really Adults fun. Adults are allowed to have fun too. We totally What's are. What's the point of growing up if you can't play with your LARP in a box? <laughs> Very good point. Oh, thank you so much for following. Uh, and so we're in the middle of our adventures in Collingwood Glen with this really horrible taskmaster named Oriana, and now we're exploring a waterfall at night and there may be some ogres around and zombies. It's, it's been a very complicated time. So, here we go. Indeed. <laughs> we, okay, we all come, this time to stall. <laughs> we come to the waterfall and to the shimmering pool below, and it is it's quiet. It's far, far too quiet. Oh, no. There are no animals around. The brook isn't babbling quite as vigorously as it should be. I don't see any pixies. Usually this place is rather lousy with pixies. I suspect that there may be an evil changeling lurking amongst the fauna. Not again. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. To devise the truth. We can use the crystal. And then squish it. Stop being so goddamn cheerful all the time. I am not cheerful at you all. You should let her be herself, just like we let you be I'm yourself. Very grumpy. 
Okay, you guys, please me. <laughs> Let's look around. All right, so we are now looking at the fauna for what in disguise? Uh, a changeling. A changeling. That bunny! Ah! Right there! Ah! It's not a real bunny this time! Uh, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it! Shh. Is it frozen? Has, I think so. Has some kind of magic been done to it that we might be able to heal? Yeah, can we unchange it? Healer? If I... Healer? Do your scrying, healer. No. The answer is no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Unfortunately, this poor creature is just... Evil. It's an evil bunny. Evil. Put it in the soup. Bunny. Hold on, you guys. <gasps> I got this. <gasps> and she holds a stiletto. <laughs> oh, my god, oh my god! 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 What are you gonna do? Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh my 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 god! About his life choices. <laughs> but if his root nature is evil, is it really mutable? Uh, let's just keep him as a pet. Okay. Would you like an evil bunny? Yes. <laughs> no, don't give her the evil bunny. Oh She's gonna God. make it evil or Here's and sad. the evil bunny. I feel like they deserve okay. each other. Okay, okay. You will give I it have, a lovely home. I have an idea. What's your idea? Why don't we all keep the money like a friendship bunny <gasps> oh, friendship bunny! Oh, shoot. okay and we'll have a place where we keep them that we all go to as friends in the glen oh, in the glen and we'll have tea parties i've never loved tea parties. more than this with the evil bunny oh, with the evil bunny she's so cute oh okay yeah we careful he's frozen but he can still slowly start chomping <laughs> all right <laughs> That sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, here, hold on. I have a bunny symbol. This will be our new evil bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend, folks, okay? This is this is our Why bunny. Why are you watching the imagination? Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, so oh, oh, you're oh, so precious. Oh, you're a prince. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, pets Are we done here? Can we go yes. back to the Glen? Yeah. Yes. All right. <sighs> and we... March back to Oriana's Glen, and maybe she's finally done giving us tasks, and we can go back to just being regular princesses. That's fine. Not likely. Let's listen to what Oriana yeah. has to say. I've done a lot of giving up on you. I'm writing a tune in your armor, Keepers, for healing and helping all my friends. A song about your beauty and wit and bravery. Yes, yes, they're all that and wonderful too. But I come with an urgent message from the Oracle. Oriana had a vision warning her that Morphea has sent her ogres and swamp goblins to attack your fort in the secret garden. <gasps> Oriana is on her way with my fairy warriors to fight off the attack, but she'll need your help. You'll need all the powers of your crystals. With ice and invisibility and other powers, you can surely drive away the ogres and goblins. Protect her, don't forget get the fantasy card, magic mirror, jewel crystals, and magic powder. I'm sure you have the wheel as always, healer. Leader, find a hidden path into the secret garden without the ogres or goblins spotting you. Scribe, your crystal of invisibility will be very useful. Yeah, and the leech's crystal of shimmering ice, too. When everything is safe again, have the protector read the card for your next task. Hold on to the gem, Scribe. Don't let the ogres or goblins get it. Write down everything you see and hear and do. Don't just stand there. Get going! B -b Behave yourself, Pip. Keepers, return to the Glen when your tasks are done. Turn off the tape now. So that Pip is quite presumptuous. 
She didn't even bother to show up this time. They kind of talk down to us. They do. I don't really like it. Well, in fairness, she didn't show up because she's going to defend our fort. That's true. So she says. That's true. We should probably go to our fort and defend it too. We must. <sighs> we have no other choice. We better be quick and have my ice powers ready and, and your truth powers and invisibility and, you know, if we get hurt, you gotta heal us. I saw it from you. Okay. You're my friends. I'll take really good care of you. Getting Thank up again. You. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh, God. See, this is why I didn't get oh, down this time. Oh, You're okay. smart. Princesses have bad knees. Yes. Young and spry. All right, we're going to leave the friendship bunny in the Glen. Okay. All right. All you right. Can you read the card now? No, when, no. when we get there. Okay. We I get there. Okay, so we should probably run. Yes. Oh, okay, we run. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. This is really lame looking. I don't care. You can at least make it look like, you know. All right, we arrive at our own fort to ah! see that a battle is in full tilt already. <gasps> the Son evil queens oh, no. are facing off against Oriana and her fairies and creatures, and there's carnage everywhere, and there's screams and fighting and what? war. Oh no! Oh, the ah! humanity! Ah! You took this game in a very different direction. <laughs> <laughs> Oriana's forces are being flanked on the left and they're about to be crushed. We better go help them immediately. Ah, can you heal the beheading? Oh God. Ah, it's got really dark. <laughs> All right, so I go to the front of the flakes because I am really brave. I said flakes instead of flakes. Flakes. And I go freeze. And I freeze a whole wave of ogres. And I freeze in the other direction. I go the bad guys in the back and go, whoosh, you're all my friends. Now kill the bad guys! <laughs> and, and they're working! I write all of that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying low and keeping my eye out. Oh, looking for people I will who need keep to us invisible. Keep we us invisible. We will stay invisible. invisible as we move from place to place. And also, we will heal the wounded as we go. Heal the wounded as we go. To add to our this We're really badass and awesome! <laughs> Team Go <Gold> Squad! <laughs> yeah! The other one! Healing power! <laughs> now the ice is just coming out of my fingers! Who do you got the needle? Who do you these things? We'll just swing them around and just. Whoa! <laughs> Battlefield, we lay waste until none stand except for the Crystal Guardians and Oriana's forces. So, that's right. <laughs> Mic <Mate>, drop! <laughs> <laughs> and then a squadron of anteaters comes. Too late. We're gonna miss guys. And then they go, oh, never mind. <laughs> They're related to Xena. I don't know. It is <sighs> a well known fact. Uh, cut and bruised and exhausted. We approach Oriana. Oh, great oracle. I'm glad that we came in time to save our own fort from these forces. Why did they attack us? And then Oriana says, Well, they don't know the power of friendship. So you've got to prove to them that friendship is the best thing in the world. I had a friend once too. Her name was Lady Morphia. And Lady Morphia and I... We had a falling out. <gasps> it was about the unicorn no! in the glen. No! It's just terrible. So, what happened was, the unicorn friend of ours... <laughs> he lives in the glen. You can do it. I sure can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in you. The unicorn lived in the glen, and I thought it should be free to roam wherever its heart would take it. But Morphia wanted to lock it up and use all its magical powers as an entorn for her own power and to feed her evil troops of ogres. Oh no! I know! What a bitch. So, Morphia and I have been ex-friends. <gasps> 
for a very long time now and it's finally coming to a head because she said some very rude things about the unicorn and locked it up. You saw the unicorn, you saved it for me. And now I need your help defeating Lady Morphia because sometimes friendships just end and that's the way it is. <laughs> I have a proposal. Okay. What? I'm all ears. It makes friendships. <gasps> you wanna force her to be friends? I want to start a conversation. Let the healing begin. That I don't know, girls. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I'm ready know. to be like Morphia again. But don't you have to do it for the good of the forest. A second chance. Well, no, actually, I guess no. You, well, not necessarily. They don't. If they treat you badly, you never have to speak not to them again. Not necessarily. That's why they That's have true. moderators. Let's kill her. <laughs> Also not a great idea. Let's just start a conversation. God, that's so boring. No, we need to do this the right way or it will just come back and bite us. I, I am willing to talk to Lady Morphia and if it comes to it, I am willing to use the red crystal. Okay. Well, I think we should go and lick our wounds in the glen where it's safe. Yes, the magic water has healing powers and you should go drink some of that and get all healed up. I definitely need a bath. Yes, us too. Thanks. All right. It's been a really long day. Well, let's see what our magical card says. This is really getting to be quite a who. It's very dramatic. Very. We're gonna need nap time after this. Yeah. Oh, nap time sounds wonderful. My blood sugar's dropping. I think over. I'm getting hangry. Oh no. Hangry. Oh no. One of the unicorns has been injured, escaping from an ogre in this battle. It's trapped in a pit in the meadow and is waiting for the healer. You have to go there quickly and find a way to free the unicorn from the pit. Oh. Oh. All right, let's go get this damn unicorn. It's in the ditch, there's a unicorn in the ditch. <laughs> Hint. Says, where's the you ditch with the unicorn <laughs> in it? We walked to the ditch. Oh no! I injured the unicorn. unicorn! It's the same damn unicorn! <laughs> no. What have you been doing? It's yeah. a different unicorn. It's a different, it's his twin unicorn. brother. Oh. How did this happen to you? You've got to heal it, healer! Okay. We put it in the ditch. Do we have to get out of the ditch first, or do we heal it and then get out of the ditch? It's the rope down. I feel like if it bites onto it, we can pull it up. Okay. This is gonna take some teamwork, friend. Unicorn, bite <laughs> onto the rope. Okay, <laughs> ready? Two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're strong. Oh god, don't break the max. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> okay. It's all right, it landed on its head. There are no it's one falls. No, no one falls in weekly affirmations. No one falls in weekly affirmations, that's true. Okay, the unicorn is out, but still hurt. hurry, healer. Okay. He doesn't have much time, the poor lamb. Okay. Lay hands oh. upon its bloodiness. <laughs> its horn is all broken off, so oh. I touch the horn and I it slowly regenerates and it gets all sparkly and rainbow <laughs> shoot out of it. Stop <laughs> laughing like that! The unicorn will not be able to see you! Why is it growing? The unicorn will not be able to see you! Okay! <laughs> and its wings are, are the feathers are falling you out! You will not be able to see it! These are pockets, you guys! Which I mildly suggested! <laughs> For reasons I cannot pick away. <laughs> We killed Mike. Wow, okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that's 
Yeah, and he'll make more baby unicorns. Micacorn. <laughs> well done. Okay, well we have to preserve the unicorn species. Did so. you just suggest that he should go make babies? No, I, did, I didn't. That's just a natural outcome Don't be funny, <laughs> for unicorns. They did it! They're okay. talking about babies. I, I simply saved its life. <laughs> okay, let's just go talk to Oriana in the glen. Let's go talk to Oriana. Okay, horns. stop it. <laughs> I feel weird. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna find myself. Glenn. <laughs> Weekly hey. affirmations destroying innocent hey. eggs for years. Years and years. Destroying my child. Mark a corner. <gasps> it's, uh, it's true. Welcome back. You handled yourselves very well. But I suppose you noticed that the goblins made off with some of your food supplies before we drove them away. Really? Jeez. I asked Bannock, the village elder, for advice on how to replace your supplies. I'm pleased to be of service to the Oracle of the Forest and the Keepers of the Crystals. Today is market day in the village, and there are many merchants selling fruits, vegetables, bread, meat, herbs and spices, cheeses, and all manner of foods. Keepers, you should bring along things to give to the merchants in exchange for the food. Yes, the merchants love to barter, that is, to trade one thing for another. One of my fairy spies has just warned me. Lady Morphea has disguised herself as one of the villagers, maybe even a merchant. You must watch out for her keepers. Protector, use the crystal of true sight to see through her disguise while everyone barters with the merchants. If you point all four crystals at her at once, it should frighten her away. Protector, don't forget to take along the fantasy card, mirror, magic powder, and jewel yeah, yeah, crystals. Yeah. I'll read all about it in the Keeper's Journal when they get back. Scribe, make sure you write everything down. Leader, remember to choose a fantasy card for the Protector before you leave. Enjoy the market. Come back to the Glen when you're finished. Turn off the tape now. Enjoy the market. Uh, all right, let's do this. So the leader marches into the village. She takes her ice crystal. <laughs> she freezes fucking everybody. Wow, that was kind of small. That that big. Big. Protector, which one is Lady Morphia? Uh, that one. Okay. That's her. Let's all point our crystals that's at her. That's yeah. The one. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it breaks her ice and she goes, yeah. and then and she flies away scared. Kick her. Good. She's running. Now, get out of here. Uh, villagers, listen up. We're princesses and you're serfs, which means we own you. Give us all your food as taxes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Fluff tables, mic drops. I'm out of here. And we go back to Oriana and we hear the next <laughs> set of instructions right after we hear from the card. <laughs> How many parts are there to this? There's no. This is like oh. the game when parents don't want to hang out with the kids Pretty for much, the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana outside. foresees a terrible winter. Of course she does. We need to find a warm, safe place in the Whispering Forest to use as a shelter. We gotta gather some food supplies and store them there now. Oh, Just look at all the food we have. Wow, we did it. Good job. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me just friend some villagers. <laughs> hey, friends. We carry this over there. Thanks. And they take all the food to our fort, where it will be ours and not theirs. <laughs> Excellent. The princess fort. Done. There was so much to write, <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> we go back to the freaking glen. Just, just write a back middle the finger in the journal. For I'm, her to read. I'm sensing a market corn. Market corn. What is our next instructions? One. Market corn. Da da da. Da 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 da. -da. Uh, Wait, the finger is very long. We need, we need instructions, it. Yeah, it doesn't look like a finger. For the thing. It's, hmm? uh, I'm, not, I'm a scribe, not an artist. All right, let's send a look cute for Ariana. Hi, Ariana. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of getting past that point. Yeah. I think I'm going to stand. Oh, keepers, I'm so glad you're back. Lady Are Morphia you? is furious that you've spoiled so many of her nasty plans. Oriana has gone to keep watch on Morphia's Castle of Dread. My queen, my queen, dire tidings and bad news, too. Keepers, this is Elenil, one of my scouts. Speak, Elenil, what has happened? Oh, hunters have left animal traps in the Whispering Forest. They've caught several animals and some of them are hurt. Hunters in my forest? How dare they? Old man Oak, stop! You'll uproot yourself. The Keepers will help us. Healer, you'll need to use your crystal of healing to heal the animals that are hurt. I'll want to know all about it, so scribe, be sure you write down all that happens, yeah, how yeah. many and what types of animals you help. And you must all be sure to remember
remove the traps that you find. Leader, remember to choose a fantasy card. Protector, take the card and the jewel crystals along with the magic powder and mirror. After you've helped the animals and done the task on the card, return to the glen. Oriana will be waiting for you here. Ellen Hill and I will drive away the hunters. I just know Morpheus sent them. Good luck. Turn off the tape now. All right, so let me get this straight. We go to the forest, we heal the animals, we kick the hunters' butts, we come back. Is that it? Did That's I miss anything? Much it. Did That's I miss pretty anything? Much it. I don't think so. Stage a coup, freezer, and take over. I mean, I really don't understand why at this point we're not just storming Castle Dread. We don't want to break alliances with Oriana because she's very powerful. She's After this is us over, us. we should stage a coup. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're totally gonna, gonna jump the shark. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it. Okay. So. I mean, really, for, for all we know, Oriana is actually a uh, minion and a not minion. just an ex. Her Her Wendy, it could be so of Lady Mortimer. Talk to Lady Oriana. Can you use your crystal on her? Maybe she's a. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Low blood sugar. The power. <laughs> the power. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Come to mm. the dark side. Why haven't we done this before? I told you. I told you. And you. And you. But all y'all have done. Last weekly affirmations of the year may have to break out the marshmallows. No. Um, no? Okay, let's just affirm marshmallows then. Hashtag Neonet. Really? Really marshmallows? All right, so this is for all the marshmallows out there and including the more than 100 that I've eaten in this year. Ma yeah, at marshmallows. No, literally, not joking. Factual. 100 marshmallows. Factual. At least. On Hyper RPG, this is for you, Marshmallows. You are delicious analyzing sea lions. Well, actually. It took a turn. All right, so what we. Oh, yes. The power! The power! The And we make out! Darkness, darkness okay. covers everything. Let the hate consume you. <laughs> so we're we gonna kick these hunters' butts. Yes. <laughs> With the power of light and friendship, <laughs> she's stuck. Like actually didn't even the stuck. There we oh. go. Costume power malfunction. Uh, okay. With the All power right. of friendship, we can free Aya from her necklace's hand. Power. Okay. I'm sorry. And with the power of magic, we can. Let's do this. Kick Oriana's. No, not Oriana. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> not yes. yet. Not yet. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna call a griffin. We're gonna get on its back. We're gonna be invisible. We're gonna get to the castle. We'll make all of her minions our friends, and then we'll go attack her. Okay, I'm let's ready. do it. I'm ready. Throw me at him. Uh, we have to whistle Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> really, all of you? It's not one? <laughs> I can't do it while I'm laughing. We'll use the power of imagination. <laughs> There's the griffin! Hey! Yay! Team Chrissy! One, two, three. Alright, okay, we're good. Let's okay. go. Okay. We're on the griffin! Griffin! Yeah! Yeah! And when we're on the griffin, I shine the light of the thing over her castle. <laughs> All the minions are our friends! We've legend! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Are we going to uh, attack the hunters now? I'm a little uncertain. No, we're just going inside the castle. And we're gonna we're gonna storm Morphia. Yeah, uh, yes, her. that lady. We, All uh, right. We may be careful that we are. We can. We were just laughing. We can whistle. We can whistle just fine. It's fine. What? what she has something to say. Uh, uh, we we friends so cool. friends. Perhaps we will want to in order to not uh uh, uh break a tear in the space time continuum. <laughs> Ready to attack the yes. next time we talk to her. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Let's. So let's just screw whatever quest she gave us and go back and have a throwdown with her. Yes. With Oriana. Yes. <laughs> All right. Back on the grid. This, this is not how I remember. 
Driven. <laughs> Back on the Driven. Yay! Back on the Driven. Screw the card. Stage of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the next thing, Zay? <laughs> Queen Lenore told me what a splendid job you did helping the animals. That's and right, that's right, we did. But there are worrisome things happening at Morphea's Castle of Dread. Oh, I, I suspect <gasps> dark magic. Stay back, keepers. Don't touch the black smoke. <laughs> There's a face appearing inside the smoke. <gasps> this is Lady Morphea. Hey, Don't hey. waste your time pointing your wand or crystals at me. I'm safe in my castle of dread, speaking through this magical smoke. I know all about you now, keepers. You sniveling little brats have interfered with me once too often. I challenge you to come to my castle, which is guarded by huge, hairy giants. <laughs> you will see how powerful your crystal pendants are against my giants. Come face me, if you dare. Oh, we dare, lady. We dare, My because brave we have hearts, the, the final of test is upon you. Leader, you must divide into two teams. One team should go to the village and enlist villagers to help in the battle. The other team should Good. go to the fort and get something from your supplies that the giants might like. I hear they love sweet things. If you sprinkle a little of your magic powder over the food, it will put the giants to sleep after they eat it. Now go on your missions and join up again at the Castle of Dread and deal with the giants. Perhaps you should think of a password so that when you join up outside the Castle of Dread, you can be sure that no one has been replaced by Lady Morphea in disguise. Only the real keepers <laughs> will know the secret password. Leader, you should still choose a fantasy card and give it to the protector before you all split up. Keepers, once you have dealt with Morphea's giants, the protector should hold up the magic mirror to Morphea's face. When she sees her own reflection, she'll turn into a crow in a puff of smoke and fly away. Oh, goody! That'll get rid of her! And save Collingwood! After you've dealt with Lady Morphea, perform the task on the fantasy card. Scribe, when your missions are done, record in your journal all that has happened. Return to the Glen when you're done. We'll be waiting most anxiously for you. Turn off the tape now. All right, so we have a secret conversation away from Oriana. So, the army is waiting. I think we should attack Oriana and then take on Morphea. Agreed. Okay, I think some people should go get more reinforcements. Don't you betray us, you sniveling little weasel. <gasps> no, we're friends! No, oh, don't never. forget that we're all friends! I just I'll never do that. I'm just hangry. She's it's okay. Really just maybe getting to you. You should, you are... Maybe you should heal me. Maybe you should heal me. Oh, yeah. You just be nice, okay? Be nice. You put on such an act, but you're really friends with us. We've been hanging around since we were like two. We you should know talk about Axmas, sweet innocent thing over there that suddenly has little dark sides hang on to you. We know all of your secrets. You cannot uh, uh, pretend that you don't like us. I didn't say anything about not liking you. I just said we're not. Friends. We're totally friends! Whatever, the four of us are about to rule the goddamn world. Let's do this! There we go, power yeah. over friendship! Ready? Through the power of friendship! No, power yeah. over friendship! Charge! Charge. <laughs> and all the ogres and giants come bursting out of the trees into Oriana's Glen! I freeze everyone, including Oriana, up to Ooh. the chest. Ah. We should all shine our things at her, right? Let's do that. One, two, three. three. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> <laughs> Come and have it
it is a coup. In case that was unclear, Ariana. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Wednesday. Now, the Glen is under our control. All of our forces <laughs> shall now storm Morpheus' castle. Hit yeah. bow before us! <laughs> now, come! <laughs> we have yeah. magical flying powers now! <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I've never felt more powerful than oh, that. There's the life. castle! Ha <laughs> ha! Morpheus, I stand on your ramparts and demand your surrender! Or there will be blood! She comes out, she's like, what the fuck is this? What are the children doing? We we are the Crystal Guardians! We we are Team are Princess Crystal! crystal. We're coming to kick your butt! <laughs> Blood and with fire! Yes, yes. We already have your entire forces at our beck and call. It's only you alone in that castle. What will you do? I see her trembling before us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yes, very yeah. intimidating people. Well, yes. Especially it's, you. Especially you. Thanks. <laughs> you are very welcome. Don't stick up. I think we have to do the shiny and the crystal okay. thing before we All right, all right, all right. Ready? It's true. Ready? One, ready? two, three. three. Mark a coin, we need your help. Technically, Mark there might be one, coin. but it might Mark contradict everything that we've already done. Let's hear the contradictory end to our story. Let's, wait, wait, yeah. wait. First, first, first. Let us remember that as we listen to the ramblings of Oriana, that she has been broken by us. Her spirit <laughs> is gone. And it's she perhaps gone. is in complete denial about what we have done. Perfect. Here we go. What a wonderful job you've all done As on behalf of the Forest Council and Sprite and the Fairy. 
Paradise. And all the living things of the Whispering Forest. We thank you. You have oh. saved Collingwood. Morphia has flown away to hide, but one day she'll be back. So please return to us to help watch over our enchanted land. Until then, may all your dreams be filled with beauty. Adventure One is over. Turn off the tape now. Let's go get some popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. Yay! It's like we're on the same wavelength here. We're friends. I'm apathetic about it. BFFs. BFFs. Well, we kind of have to manage the ruling of both kingdoms now, so we're going to have to work together. Yes. Excellent. Perhaps, perhaps we uh, should parcel out the land in, in the way that the triumvirate did. Well, I'm the leader, so I should get the most land. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, too. I want the other half of the land. Not half. They need some. We'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll work our friendship. <laughs> maybe we'll just, yay. Yay. You maybe we maybe we can rule on different days, days of the week. I was going with that. The days that we wear the ring is the days that we're the leader. I, I get Fridays. I get Fridays. I get Fridays. I like Tuesdays. I will take Wednesday. I have all the days otherwise. Sure. Fine. Yeah. I'm just gonna fuck around the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you have fun with that ruling. <laughs> <laughs> and that, folks, is the end of oh, the game. Yay! yay. <laughs> Absolutely, 100% okay. how I remember it. So, <laughs> uh, let's decompress. I'm gonna have a seat. We can have seats. Oh. No. no. It's okay. Oh, we're gonna do chairs? Uh, we can do chairs. Let's do chairs. No, chairs are horrible. No, okay. chairs are worse. Than let's all sit on the floor, the floor. and talk about our experiences. Oh, let's talk about our experiences. So, oh, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> the game feels. Hashtag game feels with a Z. Uh, oh, man. I have to go get my glasses. I cannot <laughs> see a thing. So, that was a LARP in the Box created in 1993 <laughs> it's for a LARP children. In the box. Uh, we I'm just had a lot of fun playing it. Um, but I have no idea how a child would actually get through that experience. I never would have gotten through this much stuff. <laughs> it was just long. This yeah. is why. This is why, as a child, I pretty much played chapter one. Yeah. And just chapter one. I want to do like the festival one, but I don't know if I could bear it. Oh god. <laughs> that sounds fun. Maybe that can be the finale for season two. I can see. Yeah. Yes. Princesses we'll bring it back. of darkness. <laughs> Oh, okay, man. so let's decompress a little bit. Yes. Chat, we'd love to hear what you thought of the game. Um, Chat's just confused. We're Chat's all gonna share confused. one thing that we liked about each other's role play. Um, hey, so hey, Strix, <laughs> remember when at the top of the show you promised you were going to follow all of the rules? <laughs> and I said I'd believe you when I saw it. <laughs> Final Fantasy well. Nine Master, you know me way too well. <laughs> I don't have got time for rules. <laughs> No one has um, time for rules. So, so one favorite it. thing that we liked that other people did. Okay. Um, I loved your sweet, sugary voice. I did too. <laughs> Punctuated by just every once in a while the right note of derision. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic. <laughs> just the moments of crazy that showed through. Like, no, you got dark side in you. That was excellent. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. I just loved everybody's fucking commitment. Sorry, I, was, I swear a lot. Um, I loved everybody's commitment to their roles, man. We just like picked it and stuck with it, and like it was great. <laughs> Miss Apathy, like a like I mean, princess. Clearly, princess Apathy, clearly the <laughs> oldest among us. Yes, like a teenager. Yes, forced to play with all of uh -huh. the little ones. <laughs> Krun says, Krun thinks this play was disjointed and chaotic <laughs> and shows unicorns in a positive light when they are bloodthirsty, marauding, face of terror. <laughs> Why do you think Princess Apathy loves it? In them short, so much? Krun loves it. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Krun. Oh, man. <laughs> At first, I was that, and after a while of watching it, I was that. Oh, Excellent. My That's how I feel about it, too. <sighs> so how does this hold up to your childhood? Uh, it was different. <laughs> it was different. Wait, was there as much murder? No. Uh, no. Wait, there was, there it, was more in your it, childhood? No, there was, there was less. However, it did tend to end in an argument because my sister and I are very different people. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, but it was, uh, to be honest, as a child, it was probably mostly me bossing my sister. Around. <laughs> um, so yes, it was a little bit more fleshed out this time, uh, but lovely, wonderful. Uh, oh my goodness! And when the when the beginning part started, that's when the memories started oh, coming yeah. out. Oh. <sighs> 
What's one compliment for someone else that you have? Well, I love that you turned to the dark side. That was really satisfying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't necessarily see yeah. that coming. Oh, and just one thought, just a broader commentary on the game. Um, I really like that it's a game for princesses that kick but totally. like they mm -hmm. save villages, they save the day, they fight ogres. That's a really powerful thing, empowering thing for young girls. To totally, do, right? Yeah, love it. Yes, and like, like some of their powers are like aggro powers. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Like, people. Yeah. yeah, which is kind of rad. But yeah. there's one for every kind of kid, mm -hmm. too, yeah. which is nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. I, it's it's because like everything, especially at the time. I don't know about now because I don't have children. Uh, though I imagine it probably hasn't changed much. But I remember at the time, at least, everything was about enforcing that gender norm of girls being maternal and caring yeah. and sweet yeah. and whatnot. And like you said, you got to be like badass. Or, or because it was so open ended, you could problem solve in non violent ways. I mean, if we mm -hmm. wanted to. Yeah. We didn't have to murder everyone. And we didn't sometimes, to be but fair. But we wanted to, <laughs> so <laughs> we did. Uh, so I think it's really, actually, as an adult now, I'm thinking that's a, a really great design. <gasps> Thanks yeah. for the follow, Jacob. So what's come, one compliment that you have for somebody else? Uh, uh, like I said, the um, commitment, just everybody, but especially you. Yeah. The moment you walked in, it was, it was just, uh, it was I on. needed this today. This was fun. <laughs> Those of you that haven't seen me before, I'm not actually that way. <laughs> She's real nice. I'm just going to be like, oh god, that computer is weird. She's real nice. <laughs> Can confirm. M. Oh, let's see. Well, I I feel like I loved all the same things as you guys because it was just like a really fun experience to kind of like jump back into that uh, attitude of being a kid. But uh, Strix, I loved the moment when you walked into the village and just said, "Give us all your shit. Fuck it. You're we surfs. are princesses. <laughs> you are serfs. You you give us everything." And you backed her up, and I was just like, I'm yep, here. Yep. I'm here for this. I'm there here is, for it. Uh, I'm really oh, proud man. of us for all of the yes anding. Yeah, it was great. Everyone was super flexible and just went with it. I was like, there could be like an internal conflict here. We're gonna find out. Um, but also, we just had to end the show on time, <laughs> so things need to move a little faster. Oh, oh, one part that I really liked was the synchronized curtsy. That yes, was great. That was. I really hope somebody. That was. That was really cute. <laughs> super cute. Well, now oh. here comes oh, no. the feels part. All right, this, part. This, this is the end of Weekly Affirmations for now. This is the end of season one. It has been almost a full year that we have been doing the show every single week. Uh, and we have built a community around the show that is amazing. Uh, you folks should be proud of yourselves. You're inclusive, you're diverse, you're positive, you hold each other up, and you hold each other accountable to be good people. And that is amazing. There are not many other places on the internet. Uh, we are going to find that, especially not on Twitch. So thank you. Oh, yes. Thanks for following. <laughs> thanks for being a part of this community. Thanks for sticking with me and all of my crazy ideas, whether it's LARPing princesses or using fire for mechanics or eating weird food or rolling around on the floor like a worm. We've done it all. Oh my God. Speaking of, how's your blood sugar? I'm fine. <laughs> um, but this has actually been a really huge privilege for me. Um, I had no idea what Twitch really was about um, until I joined a year ago. All I thought it was about was like people yelling at each other about League of Legends. And I play League of Legends, Jenna for life. Uh, but <laughs> no, no. yeah, support. But anyway, um, I was, you know, a little intimidated. Um, but you folks made this an excellent experience for me, for everyone here on this channel. I love weekly affirmations. I know the spirit is going to carry on. We're still going to affirm each other every week. And when the show comes back, uh, I'm going to be super excited with a bunch of new material. Oh, look at all those hearts. <laughs> Oh, um, that thumper love. Look at all Yay. that thumper love. You're excellent folks, and you should feel proud, and you should feel happy that we're all built this community together. Together. It wasn't just me. It was mostly you. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Um, I will still be around for Death From Above as long as my character, Corfi, lives. Um, if she dies, that gets a little complicated. If she dies, we riot! <laughs> it's true. Um, but I will still be around on the channel. Obviously, I'm still a part of this community. I'm very much looking forward to what's coming next. On the 19th, we're gonna have some pretty big announcements. Oh, was that bits? Season Woo! one has been pretty yeah. decent. <laughs> it's pretty decent. It's all right. Oh, it's Except pretty whatever. decent. So, Death from Above is tomorrow, 6 p.m. Same bad time, same bad channel. I will be there playing Corfi, who is a little more scary. 
uh, then maybe this person is. some ass in battle tech. That's right. Uh, maybe, maybe equally scary considering the end. I don't know. I feel like they had that coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, true fair. All right. Fair. Um, are you, are we allowed to say if you're going to be back or not? Are you going to be I've back I've already said it on the internet, okay. so I guess, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, be yeah, I will be back as, uh, the prior, uh, Samantha. Who's creepy Kearns. as hell. It's true. <laughs> on Friday. There's so much of me on weekly, uh, not weekly. Uh, there's so much of me on weekly affirmations too. Um, there's so much of me on Hyper RPG this week. We can't get rid Y'all are gonna get sick of me! Ah. <laughs> uh, well, anything else to say, folks? Uh, I just want to say how incredibly honored I was to be invited here. And I know that like, oh, I'm playing your game, but still, I don't care. Felt honored and how much I have loved every time that I have been on this show and season one has been so freaking amazing. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you. And yes, Corfi will be wearing the epaulets again <laughs> yeah. next episode because that jacket is awesome. It's awesome. And if you haven't seen it, you should watch that from Love Tomorrow. It's an awesome jacket. Because it's rad and it's venom as fuck. It's true. It's the exact opposite of this. <laughs> Pretty much. It's, 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 it's good to be able to be flexible. It's giant robots it's shooting each other. Uh, but there's still mech destruction. Yeah. So, no, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you again soon. Laura QQ, can we have our song just one last time? Oh, I said a weekly affirmations, a positive feel-good show. The most positive thing on this channel called Hyper Rabbit Power Go. It's, it's pretty decent. decent. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Take Bye. care of each other. Happy holidays. Thank Mwah. you. Love you. Bye.